What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back to another stream, man. I've been under the weather, so and I'm still under the weather a bit, but I am good enough, thank the Lord, to be able to um, come on the stream and engage with you guys. I miss y'all. It's good to see you guys. Uh, last time we was live on YouTube, we had a Muslim sister who uh, became a Christian sister, and she converted to Christianity. So if you guys missed that, um, that's the very last stream there. I miss you guys, too. Good to see you guys. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Um, yeah, if you guys missed that stream, it is on the channel. For those of you guys who want to see that conversation, it was a beautiful conversation with the Muslim sister. Um, now Christian sister, she's an ex-Muslim. And for those of you guys who want to know, she did message me um, a few days ago with a little update, with a little update. It was very encouraging. It was sharp. For me, it was like six in the morning um, and she messaged me on TikTok. Uh, just, in, just ensuring like that she's doing fine and uh, she's made connections with brothers and sisters. A lot of Christians, she said, um, it's it's the Christian support is beyond what she could even ask for. Those are her words. And uh, she just feels extremely blessed. She feels connected with the Lord. And so it's really amazing, man. So guys, let's keep praying for sister, our sister in a new Christian sister. Let's keep praying for her. And uh, <laughs> let's pray that God just, you know, continues to show himself to her and reveal himself in a whole new way that that you know makes her fall deep in love with Christ makes her fall deep in love with Christ thank you for a life she says get better brother miss you hater <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy I ain't hate on the soul man I ain't even hate on the soul Yeshua Akbar in the building that's right Yeshua Akbar and then we got Imam Claus in the building, he says, Salam, Mama C, my brother. Even on vacation, I am here. <laughs> Love you, brother. Original Quran only Christians, stand up for Yeshua. Stand up, Yeshua Akbar. That's right. I appreciate you guys, man. I mean, I miss you, Chris. You too, uh, you too, uh, Chloe. All right, so we're live, guys. We're live here on TikTok. We got almost 300 people in. Well, we got 300 people in here already. You guys know the drill. You guys know the drill on YouTube, almost 300 people as well. Make sure you guys hit the like button. If you haven't done it already, you guys know what to do because if you do not hit the like button on YouTube, we know. We know what you do. We know that you're secretly kissing, licking, and going around a black stone. So don't out yourself. Don't do it. All right, 434, that like button. And let's get this work. Help the uh, help the live get into, <laughs> help the live get into the algorithm. All right. <laughs> Someone said I have a beautiful forehead. That is hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this forehead is indeed legendary. It is indeed legendary, man. When all else fails, man. God created me fearfully and wonderfully. All right, let's see what we got here. We got some people in the guest section already. Um, it looks like they're Christians. So to let you guys know, if you are a Christian in the chat that's trying to come up, please do not request. Obviously, this is for the Muslims to come up and engage, all right? So... Muslims, come on up and engage. Let me know or let the moderators know that you guys are indeed Muslims so that we can go ahead and get things popping. All right. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you guys for listening. So, Beater, I'm going to assume since you're still here, 
that you're a Muslim. Ambassador, you'll be next. All right. So let me bring up Beter Biev up. Assalamu alaikum, sister. What'd you say? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, first of all, sister. What are you calling me? <laughs> Sorry, my internet is lagging. Oh, yeah. You have a big ass friend, bro. We have a big ass friend, bro. Yeah. So we got, we're already starting off with trolls, y'all. We're already starting off with trolls. But by the way, uh, I mean, his, his audio kind of sucked, but you guys can hear that, right? You guys can hear? Yeah, you guys can hear that pretty good. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, we're already starting off with the trolls, but let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Got a troll, man. It's, it's Islam. Islam, man. How you doing, Ambassador? Good, good brother. You, how are we doing? Uh -huh. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm well, though. <laughs> I'm well. It's good to see you. Well, how's the program? We just started. <laughs> you, you saw we just started off. We just started off with us. <laughs> we just we, we, we just started off with some some strange person, Great. man. Anyways, thank you very much for having me. Thank yeah. you for thank you for having me. Right. Of course, of course. Okay. Shall we go to direct to, to the to the topic? Yeah, sure. Anyway, um uh, please yeah, I th I think you need to have some you need to bear with me on this subject. Really? You said proof Jesus proof Jesus was Muslim. Mm. I'm coming from a different perspective. All right. Come different, come different. Okay. Number one, I don't want to use the name Jesus. Okay. I have a reason. For no, that's. no worries. I would say, I would, I would Be say. Before, I would you, say before, before you get deep in it, let me just um, read, okay. this, read this comment really quick. Just to okay. encourage the chat, guys. So we have a super chat from uh, Gerson Ramirez, who says, God bless you, um, minister brother. He says, you've helped me a lot. When I was considering leaving Christianity for Islam, I know I am stronger in faith than ever. Man, glory to God, man. Glory to God. And I pray that God continues to help you in your journey and strengthen your faith and equip you. All right. Glory to God. All glory to God. But okay, go ahead, Ambassador. I just needed to read that one. That was good. Okay. Thank you very much for, for that, for that uh, shout out from the brother. Um, I hope I hope. Uh, when he's listening now, you know, he will, he will reconsider. Can reconsider? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let, me be, let me be specific. You know, um, I'm a Muslim. And uh, a Muslim who understands the Quran a little bit. A little the bit. Quran, yeah, no, just let me, yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me say that because I don't know everything, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right. Um, the little I know, I know the name Jesus is not in the Quran, but rather it's Aisha bin Maryam. Yeah, I don't know who that Muslim. is. Okay, Aisha bin Maryam is a son of Maryam. The sister, of, the sister of Aaron, right? Or they call, or they translated Mary as Mary. That's the, that's the that's the is that the sister of Aaron? As a what? Is that the sister of Aaron? Well, you can put it that way. The, the brother, yeah? the you brother, the down. brother of Moses. Okay, put it that way. The reason why I'm 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 rejecting Jesus is that I don't know who translated that name Isa to Jesus. Who translated? So I don't know what is who translated the name to Isa? Now, the Isa is what the Quran as a Muslim gave the son of Maryam. What? Not that not, is my point. But that doesn't even. That's, but that's not even. That's not even. That's not even the Messiah's name. 
and and, no, and, and it has no relation to his Hebrew name. No, I said I'm a Muslim. I'm talking from the Muslim perspective. Please. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, so, well, at this at this at this point, then where you're you're not talking about Jesus, you're talking about this Isa character who no, um, no, I, I don't then, I have no connection to. Okay, if you don't have no connection to, is the relationship that you are, you are using Jesus? Because the reason why you're saying, "Prove me, Jesus was a Muslim," mm. because we don't Muslim don't have that name as Jesus, but well, rather it was Isa. I I understand, you, I understand that, but okay. Muslims if Muslims say that Jesus okay. Muslims try to say that okay. Isa is Jesus and that Jesus okay. was a Muslim. For the benefit of this discussion, for the benefit of this discussion, then I w- I will respect your topic. Do you okay. get me? Yeah, sure. So you don't okay. believe so you don't believe that Jesus was a Muslim then? No, I believe with Jesus that Jesus is a counterfeit name given to the Isa, the son of Maryam, because I just came across a TikTok which says that Jesus represents joint European, what, European Union slave, um, uh, slave ship, you know, you know, something like that. And I don't, you know, what does Jesus stand for? Jesus means salvation. Okay, no, maybe, maybe it's an abbreviation of that name, joint European slave ship. You know, um, uh, you know, owners. So, so you're like so you're saying so you're saying you watch something on TikTok, and so because of this, it deters you from the word Jesus. Yeah. yeah so I don't want to use that name, Jesus. I right. Well, I I, I, I also I I I saw a video on TikTok um, when it comes to the name Isa, and it's actually a derogatory insult to who Jesus would no. actually be. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I saw I saw it on TikTok. I saw it on TikTok. In Quran, in Quran. Isa, the son of Miriam. Wait, wait, wait! I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't care what the Quran says. Just like you don't care what the Bible says or about the name Jesus, you only care about what you saw on TikTok. So let's let's. No, you you are talking about Muslim now. I'm I'm a Muslim, and you are not. So. Then I I said I don't know Jesus. And I, and I, and I, and I, and I don't know Isa. And what you saw, okay. you, you said you saw, you said you saw. I love that. You yeah. Love that. I love that. Yeah. Okay. And you said that you saw okay, a then, TikTok then, video. You okay. saw a TikTok video. Okay, then let's move. There's, no, let's no, move I'm, I'm saying something. I'm saying something. You said you saw a TikTok <laughs> video with Jesus' name on, uh, and, and it's saying it's related to slave ships and slavery and all these kind of things that it's yeah. not actually related to in the Bible. So since you're disregarding the Bible and going with a TikTok video, I'm gonna go ahead and disregard the Quran and go with the TikTok video and talk okay, about how move. horrible let's the name move. Isa is. Is that fair for me to do? Then let's move. Let, is that is move. that fair? Is that fair for me to do? It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. <laughs> it's fair. Let's move. Let's move. All right. So Jesus being a Muslim, man, you believe that? Okay. So if you tell me Jesus being a Muslim from the Quranic perspective, huh? If you're referring to the son of Mary, I'm not asking. Isa. A, I'm not. So let me let me be clear. Let me be clear. So before you, okay, so before you go on any any deep thing, let me just be clear where I'm asking. <laughs> because this is a deep topic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when I say prove that Jesus was a Muslim, I am challenging the Quran's claim that Jesus is a Muslim. Okay. The Quran makes claims about what Jesus believed and. That he believed in Allah and was a servant of Allah, the Allah in Islam and right. the Quran, right? That's right. So That's I right. so I recognize that the Quran makes these claims. However, That's right. now what I'm doing is is asking for the proof to back up those claims that I find in the Quran about the historical oh. Jesus. Make sense? That's thank you so much. I love that, man. I love that. So now you are making a good point for my for my part. Okay, now I'm gonna prove it prove it to you. Okay. The Quran says, the Quran says, the son of Maryam says, Inni Abdullahi Atani al Kitaba wa wa Ausani bis salat was zakati madum to haya. Wa barram bi walidati wala me jalni jabbar shakiya. A salamu alaya yoma wulitu wa yoma amutu wa yoma uba afahiya. Velika Isa bin Maryam kaul al haqa ledi fihi yam karun. Now let's get back to the Quran. Oh. That was wait, that wasn't the Quran? Yes. Yes. That was Surah Maryam. 
Okay, what did you just recite? Because you, you speaking into me in Arabic doesn't help me. What did you just say? Okay, yeah, it, because th this shows that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a serious Muslim. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> it says, it says, Assalamu alayya, peace be upon me. Assalam from Islam. It said, peace be upon me. Yoma will lead to the day I'm I was born. Wayoma Amutu. And the day I will die. How does this prove that he's a Muslim? And the day I will be what? Rise again. Rise. I will be resurrected. So he died and resurrected, Yoma. right? No. He said that he will die. He, he said he was born, he will die, and then be resurrected. Assalamu alayya, peace be upon me. Yoma uh -huh. will lead to the day I was born. The day I was born, and uh -huh. he was born. Got it. Where you are moved to, and the yeah, day I would die. die. Did he no, die? the day and... I would die, I moved to. Where you are moved to, where you are uber and the day, day he'll I be will be raised up. Oh, yes, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be brought back, and everyone, every single life that what is born, lived, huh? And die will be resurrected again. Very good. So, so then that means they have to be they have to be born, they yes. then die, and then they're raised up again. Very good. So so, so when Jesus was born, right? Just like you were, yeah. Just you, like I was born. born as well. Got it. So yeah. he was born. And you, was, and you was he was he raised up? No, you would die. Was he raised up? I would die. I know. I'm asking about Jesus. Was Jesus raised up? He was raised up. He was here. Yeah, he, he he was raised up. But he was raised up. Here. Okay. No, will he now? No. Will he die? That no, means that he died. Said, then no. right. That means he died. No, no, right. No. No. He was lifted. There is a difference between lifted, right? Oh no. In some ayah. No, 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 no. Listen. No, don't, don't confuse me, please. Don't trick me. I'm not trying don't to trick you. I'm just talking about the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking about the Quran. He says he peace, of, peace upon me the day he was born, the day he will die, and the day he will be raised up. Allah says, remember, Isa, I'll purify you of the disbelievers and take your take you, take your soul, and raise you to myself. That's what it that's what it says in all over the place. No, because there, it didn't say Abathu. It says Warafanahu. Warafanahu. We have lifted him. Warafanahu makan and Aliya. That was what the Quran says. Lifting and raising is different. No, there, so they, no. This says raised up. The day I'm raised up. That's what it says. No, the day, no, the day I will raise up. This means to every soul that God Allah permitted that soul to die. So exactly. So listen, so listen, my my parents are late. My you, both parents are late, right? You you know believe, you know that Jesus Jesus no, listen, you know Jesus no, died and was raised up, right? <laughs> no, the Quran. We believe Muslims. He did not die yet. I I know what you I know what you believe, but that's not what the Quran says. Jesus says that he is born, then uh -huh. dies, then is raised up. You believe he skipped dying but was raised up. But the Quran no, says that he no, dies no, and is raised up. No, be, be fair. Be fair with me today. Because you've not been fair with me some, some periods of days of ago. Today, I want you to be fair with me, please. I'm, please. Being, I'm being as fair with you as I possibly can. But I can't let you spill, no, spill falsehood on the, the Quran either. Says, I, have to, I have to defend the, the Quran. Says, I have to defend it. The, Okay, the ayah says, Rafa'anahu, Rafa'anahu, Rafa means we lifted him. Lifted, lifted, to be lifted. Right? Yeah, it says, the, it, it says the same thing. No, no, when no, Allah says that he same. will raise him to himself, to lift him to himself, is what it says. Can you quote the ayah? Can you, can you quote the chapter? Yeah, okay. chapter 4, verse 158. Where? Chapter 4, verse 158. Chapter, chapter 3, verse 55. They all say the same thing. Hold on. Let me see. Chapter 4. Hold on, please. Chapter 4. Because today is an intellectual discussion. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chapter 4. Verse. Chapter 4, right? 
Mm-hmm. Chapter forwards. <laughs> one fifty-eight. <laughs> 158. 158, bro. 158. 158. 158. Quran. 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 Now remember what you said. In 1930 something, you said that that raising up means it's whatever what Allah will do with every soul. Means that they died and he will do that to every soul. He will resurrect it again. Well, Allah did it to Jesus already. No. Yes. Rafa, right? There's a word right here. No. No, Rafa. R- Rafa, Rafa, who? Rafa who? Rafa. To, Rafa means to lift. <laughs> yeah. Rafa, no. <coughs> Rafa means to lift. Yeah. Check it out. You find it? Yeah, means to lift or raise up. No. Yeah. When you say I'm looking raise, at it right now. Say, uh-huh. I'm looking at it right now. It means to raise up. Okay. Okay. Well, if 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 it's raised up, that is English terminology. But there, the Quran didn't mean ah, he was he, he died. No, 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 no. Be fair, please. Be fair. Be I'm fair, being be fair. as fair as I can. What you are not defending Quran. You are not defending Quran today, tonight. I have to defend the Quran, <laughs> man. I do. I have so, to okay. defend the Quran. So I'm proving to you that he was a Muslim because he submitted and surrender to his creator or to the one who sent him. He said, "Assalamu alayya, yawma walidtu wa yawma amutu wa yawma ubaathu hayya." And he said, "Thalika Isa ibn Maryam." That was Isa, the son of Maryam, qawl al-haqq. He was saying the truth. Allazi fihi yamtarun. The statement that they are doubting or they are not accepting or they are disbelieving. Mm. So this proof means that he was a Muslim. And a Muslim simply means somebody who submits and surrender to the will of his creator. Can you prove that to me? Can you prove to me that Jesus that, was a Muslim? In the Quran or where? In the Quran? I'll, I'll, I'll say it again because I thought I was clear with you. I know that the Quran claims that Jesus believed in the Allah of Islam. I understand the claim. Jesus was not around during Muhammad's time, right? No. So Jesus is a 600-year-old figure by the time Muhammad hops on the scene. And Muhammad, in the Quran, is making claims about a person who existed 600 years prior. So it's a historical claim. You're saying Jesus was a Muslim. Okay, so I need historical evidence on Jesus's life that demonstrates to me that he was a Muslim. The Quran is not that. It just makes the claim. So I need something, you know, reliable on Jesus's life that I can use to see what he believed, what he taught, and be like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess he was a Muslim. Or, nope, he wasn't a Muslim. I Because, you know, here you trying to shift from the word or the term Muslim from the Arabic terminology. No, I'm not. English in English means submit and surrender. Submit to what? Submit, submit, submit. submit to the to, to, submit to the Creator, to the Almighty. Well, the Creator. Who is that? The Almighty, the one who 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 who, who caused him to be born. Is he a father? No, come on now. He's he's greater than father. What is father? Right. Father is so, father. No, no, no. Father. You you don't you don't gotta go deep. You don't gotta go deep. He's okay. he's not a father. So you're telling me that Jesus, when he preached about God and stuff like this, that he also did not believe that God was a father, right? No. Okay. So I need you no, to he- demonstrate to me that. I need you to show me that. Show me that Jesus believed in this creator that you're describing to me. Oh, okay. So let's get back to the Quran because the Quran. No, the Quran doesn't have the answer. The Quran makes the claim. So you can't use the Quran to prove what I'm asking, what I'm challenging the Quran on. Oh, then then your Bible, the Bible you are going to quote from me, then the Bible says, even though I, I don't agree with everything from the Bible, some parts, that means the Bible confirmed that 
Okay, so show me where in the Bible it confirms that Jesus was a Muslim. Okay, let's go. In the, in the Bible, <laughs> you are waiting for me to, to blast you. I'm going to blast you tonight. Blast me, man. <laughs> Hit me. Hit me. Do it. Uh, when, when his disciples or companions ask him the last supper, please, master, teach us how to pray. You going? Would you teach us how to pray? That wasn't at the last supper. Okay. What, 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 and, what and, 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 his, and his disciples didn't ask that. So who asked him? Who asked no, nobody him? did. He just came out and started teaching people how to pray. Okay. Let's let's use the strategy, the lost prayer. No, let's it's not. It's, it's not. It's not a lost prayer. How do you call that? It's called the Lord. The Lord's. Is that what you said? Lord's prayer or lost yeah, prayer? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I miss. Prayer. I'm sorry. I misheard you, my friend. I misheard you. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Lord's prayer. The Lord's prayer. Just like we recite the Fatiha. The, yeah. The, just like we recite. Al Fatiha. Uh -huh. It says, it says, our father. Our who? Our. He said, our. Our what? He and his companions. Our father. That's what's according to the Bible. Right. So, according he to said, the Bible, according to the Bible that you're quoting, according to the Bible that you're quoting in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus is preaching that God is our father, right? That means not he alone. That means he and all the guys. No, 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 no worries. No worries. So he's teaching okay. that God is our father, right? Okay, then let's go. He said, who asked Excuse him? Excuse me, heaven? ambassador. I asked okay. you something. He's teaching that God is our father according to the Lord's prayer, right? Okay, yeah. For the benefit of the, uh, our discussion. No, yes. it's, not for the, it's not for the benefit of the discussion. Is he or not? According to the Lord's Prayer, is Jesus teaching that God is our Father? That is what they say there. Okay. Is Allah our Father? No. In Quran, no. Beautiful. So is Jesus showing you that he believes the same God of the Quran? Or does he believe a different concept of God? Then, then we might have, or we, then we may have two personalities. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Claiming Jesus. We have a historical Jesus and a counterfeit Jesus. Ah, <laughs> that you're under something. You're absolutely right. We have a, a historical Jesus and we have a counterfeit Jesus. And guess yes. what? When we look at the historical Jesus, we can see yeah. that this counterfeit character is the one you call Isa bin Mary. No, not really, man. Come on now. Check that out, man. Check that out, man. Because really? The, the, the historical, I, the historical, I, 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 you don't have any historical information about Issa bin Maryam. None. <laughs> <laughs> the historical Jesus, the historical Jesus and the counterfeit Jesus has two different characters. I agree 100%. Yeah, wait, the, the wait, 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 say, say, say that one more time for everybody here. Say that one more time because you're you're on you're on the money. Say it I again. Said, there is a true historical Jesus, mm -hmm. the son of Mariam, mm -hmm. and there is a counterfeit Jesus created by the Roman Catholic or the Catholics. Okay. Now That's let's now let's test this. Let's test this. Okay, let's put it your, in your, let's your, go. your Isa bin Mariam. Where was he born? Okay. The Isa bin Mariam was born as an in in in, in the Bethlehem. What? Wait, 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 wait. You said Isa. Wait, wait, stop. You said Isa bin Maryam was born yeah. in Bethlehem. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> now, 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 you you are gashing out, man. <laughs> Let me tell you. Me... In Bethlehem, in Bethlehem. Show me. Right? Show me where he was born in Bethlehem. Show me the verse in the Quran. Is there in your in your Bible? Wait, not? wait, wait, wait. My in my Bible, it's referring to Jesus, not Isa. This Jesus that you didn't okay. like that you linked with slave ships and Roman Catholics. That so Jesus is born in Bethlehem. Show me that okay. Isa. Show me this Isa was born in Bethlehem. Don't don't steal from Jesus now. You said he's you said he's a counterfeit, so don't steal from him. Don't steal from him. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny, man. You are really funny tonight. <laughs> okay, check that out. Check that out. Check that out. Check that out. 
um, the son of Maryam, Isa, alayhi salam, was born Show me. in a remote area. Wait, wait, wait. No, you said Bethlehem. Show me that Isa, do not steal from Jesus. Show me Isa was born in Bethlehem. As a Muslim, listen to what I'm saying. As a Muslim, the Quran made us understood that it says, there are things that we have revealed to you, O Prophet Alaihissalam, and there are some you have to find them out with our permission. So, in this case, <laughs> Over. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, no I'm, I'm serious. So, in this case, uh -huh. in this case, uh -huh. in this case, when you read in the tafsir of the Quran, listen. In the tafsir of, of the Quran, the explanation of the Prophet Sallallahu to his Sahaba about the birth of Prophet Isa Alayhi Salatu show, show me it. No, I'm not, I'm not having those uh, uh, my references in my head. But uh, you know, but uh, maybe in the next topic, in the next coming on your uh, program, I promise to bring it to you. You know where Please. you are, right? Now, you know where no, you are. No, no, now I don't have it. I, I have to be fair. You know where I you are, right? Else. No, you know, you know, you know, head. you know where you are, right? You know where you are. I know, I know. So you know you can't come here and not be ready. No, come, come up now. I'm, I, at least I have given you some, 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 some portion of my cake, man. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm still, I'm, my belly's empty right now. I, I haven't gotten any portion. Okay, let's make a move. Let's make a move again. Yes, let's I need a, I need a, I need a reference. Or you can retract and say, you know what? I, I, I spoke to I spoke you retract? No. I retract. Okay. I retract. All right. So I retract. All right. So where we're, so this is where we are now. You don't know okay. where Isa bin Maryam was born, but what you did was okay. is you stole from Jesus, who you say is a counterfeit, that he was born in Bethlehem. Let me ask you this. Let me ask let me ask you something else. What language okay. what language does Isa bin Maryam speak? According to the Quran and the Muslims, uh, um, uh, scholars and our tafsir, the son of Isa, the uh, son of Maryam, Isa, Alaihissalam, and her mother, they speak Aramaic. Show me where the Quran it says that they spoke Aramaic. That one too, I retract. <laughs> <laughs> I retract. No, but it's my belief. <coughs> like, wait, wait, stop. Again, okay. you know, you know okay. what you're, you know what you're doing again. Yeah, you're stealing from Jesus again, who you say is not the historical truth. So, so are you, are you getting, uh, are, are you getting it now? Are you, are you see, with these, with these little examples, the historical information that you're that you apply to Isa, you're stealing from Jesus, who you say is a counterfeit. So, who's the real counterfeit? And this makes my statement in the Quran confirm. Wait, who's because the real counterfeit? Says, who's the real counterfeit? No, hold, on. hold on. You know, you know, you know, when you have a counterfeit, counterfeit is being diluted uh, with a little bit of original. So the I agree. The, I agree. Okay. It's diluted so, with a little bit of the original. So you got Isa bin Maryam. They even changed the name. You got Isa bin Maryam. His they, they, his, so he's not the son of God, so that's the false part. Uh, but he was born of a virgin. That part they got right. Uh, uh, he, he, <clears throat> they don't know what he. They call him the Messiah. True, but they don't know what tribe he's from. Ah, get that wrong. Uh, they don't know where he preached. Ah, they got that wrong too. They know he was given the gospel, but they don't know what that is. Ah, they, see, they got these sprinkles of truth. Without the historical evidence and factual uh, substance to back it up, you, man, you're you're hitting it right. You're you're right on the money. You just you just gotta you just gotta switch it. I, I, no no no! I'm gonna take the two thousand two hundred, man. Come on now. What, what what do you mean? I'm taking it, man. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm, I'm about to take it. Okay, so. What I'm trying to explain is that you asked me to prove if Jesus was a Muslim. Jesus is a Muslim because he served the creator that sent him or created him. That was his message. That was his message? 
Yeah, that was his message. Can you, can you show people. me that? Can you show me that? <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna just start. I'm gonna just start wearing a T-shirt saying, "Can you show me that before you even before you even speak?" So that you he know said, that I'm gonna Abdullah, ask you to show me what you just said. It says, "Inni Abdullah atani al kitaba wa jaali nabiyan wa jaali mubarakan ayna wa kuntu." Dude, I, I gotta stop you because you're wasting my time by quoting Arabic. I don't understand what you're saying. Speak English, please. Okay, he says, "In the Abdullah, I'm I'm a servant of Allah." That's what he said. That's not Abdullah, what he said. Where does he say that? Can you can you prove to me that he actually said that? I know the Quran claims it. Can you prove to me that he actually said that though? Yeah, <laughs> you are trying to. The, the Quran is a proof. What I, I don't need to prove nothing to you again. All right, so this is what you have so far. Can you at least admit this, man? That what you have is you have a belief that Jesus is a Muslim and that he served Allah and spoke and said that he's a servant of Allah. You believe that, but you don't have any evidence to show me that. Can you can you at least acknowledge that so I can move to the next point? Okay, go go to the next point because I'm. Wait, I'm, wait I'm, I need I need I need the acknowledgement first, and then I can move on. I nearly get the two thousand, so I'm left with the two hundred. Please, I think the two thousand is my. It's, it's, it's close to me. <laughs> Let's go. You give. Let's I th go. I think you give up, man. No, no, I'm not giving up. You should. I said I'm. I'm about. To, I'm about to take the two hundred <laughs> to add to add it to it. My friend, I'm I'm, I, you're, you're not. I you're you're not doing mouth. good, man. You keep. You you're not okay. giving me any any substance. You know. It says. I don't care what the Quran says. Show me that what the Quran is saying about Jesus is true. Show me historically that this is true about Jesus. I don't care what the Quran okay, read, says. Read Surah Maryam 30, Ayah 30, verse 30. Maryam, verse 30. I love you, Ambassador. You're a good man. But this is where uh, we got to gotta move on. No, no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. I'll be following you. Thank All right. you. All right, peace. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. Man, <laughs> I do genuinely like Ambassador as a as a human being, though. He has a good spirit. You know, he can laugh about these things, he can have fun doing it. You know, I I definitely enjoy um, a personality like that. Not doesn't take everything too serious and take everything to heart. All right, let's see. Um, good, good morning or good evening. I'm from the UK, man. So I, I don't, I don't know. But all I wanted to come up here and say was, guys, I won't lie. Nobody's getting two thousand two hundred. I'll keep her, but I'll be real because there's no way you can prove Jesus Christ was a Muslim because he's the way, the truth, and the life. Who receives and receives, receives. Eternal life, man. So all I can ask for everybody that's on this life is to repent. I'll be real. Just repent. God bless you, bro, for your works. I appreciate you. I aspire to be like you, bro. Hmm. I look up to you, man. Thank you, brother. Well, well done. On Thank you, man. All glory to God. I appreciate you. God bless you bro. That's right. Y'all heard him. Everybody repent and come to the Savior, man. Straight up. There's no way in the world that you can prove that Jesus was a Muslim. Oh, Lord, what's going on with my Wi-Fi? Hello. Hi, Anna. I just wanted to say to the brother who just left saying he was from the uh, UK, he sounded like he was Somali. And Walalo Yeshua is Lord. I love you so much because mm -hmm. this is like the hardest people to break. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. I am so happy. Amen. God, Lord, 
Keep doing what you're doing, bro. God bless you and shine his face upon you. Thank you. I love you, bro. I love you too, Bye. sis. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, Guys, on YouTube, is my picture fine? I'm not like freezing or pausing like like it like we used to do like a couple weeks ago right is the is the uh, is the picture good it was just i just looked like it had like a little glitch here okay we're good all right awesome it's smooth nice 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 all right let's bring up the next muslim here let's bring up the next muslim thank you so much sister anna for those encouraging words and the brother prior to that i appreciate you guys so muslims come on up <clears throat> Muslims, come on up and show me that Jesus is a Muslim, man. Oh, it's a fun fact, guys. Say somebody says, "Say happy birthday." Uh, say say happy one hundredth birthday to the Hafs Quran, canonized in nineteen twenty-four. Book of Mormon is older. <laughs> Start a campaign to celebrate Big Al's youngest rev <laughs> revelation. <laughs> oh, that's genius. <laughs> oh, Big Al's. <laughs> All right. You gonna choke, bro. I know, man. Because, man, this person, my, my Christian brother tried to kill me just now, man. Goodness. <laughs> big, Al, big Al, man. Big Al, subhan, Allah. All right. Welcome to the stage, uh, Abdul Imam. How you doing, bro? I'm pretty good. Yeah. How about you, bro? I'm, I'm good, man. Getting over this cold, but God is good to me. Um, I just have some questions. If you have, you know, time. You don't have a uh, nothing on the subject. Well, prove Jesus was a Muslim. Well, he, well, you know, we believe that Isa Ali Islam was, you know, he submitted his will to God. So that that basically makes him Muslims, according to our, you know, like a belief system. Yeah, I don't know who Isa is, but. Uh, Jesus, the Messiah, you guys believe that he was a Muslim, right? Yeah. Yeah, how would you prove that to me? Well, if you look at, like, what he, like, what he have been doing, you know, like, even in the Bible, even, like, you know, to your own book, Jesus, literally, he go to, um, uh, what's that called in in the garden something like that and he go there and pray to god and and he submit his will to his father so it that sound like definitely of you know it sounds like a muslim Muslims. yeah it's, so allah's the father of jesus hmm? allah's allah's the father of jesus um uh, allah yeah I guess so. Say that again. I guess so. Hmm. Well, you're a Muslim, right? Yeah. And and you believe that Allah, you believe Jesus is the son of God? Nah, I believe he he is a prophet who sent by who sent by Allah. But you said you said he submitted to his father, who was God, Allah, you said. So so you do believe that Jesus is the son of God. No, like um by the definition of it, he was a Muslim. By like, definition, like, by definition, can you can he be a Muslim by being the son of God? Is the son of God a Muslim? I mean, that's what you believe. If no, that's what you believe. You, believe you that Jesus I, Christ is no, 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 God? no, no, no. Don't, don't say that's what I believe. That's you just said that you believe that Jesus is the Son of Allah. No, I didn't say it. Yeah, you said. I asked you. 
is Allah the father of Jesus? You said, yeah, I guess so. So that means he's the son of Allah, the son of God. That's your belief, not mine. I don't know, bro. I I guess um I guess I said it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure, bro. I I'll, I'll just admit it. Yeah, yeah, I said it. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. So you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Beautiful. You're not a Muslim. Well, well, guess what? What? Jesus, um, no, um, not Jesus, um, like, um, the early, um, Muslims, you know, the, the early Muslims, they like, um, maybe early, um, Muslims, like, or maybe scholars, they, they, um, they even have like, um, like proof or proof, evidence, or maybe a hadith, that they all agree on one thing, they Which, all agree on one thing. Yeah, they all agree that Jesus is not the son of Allah. So you disagree with all of them. You're not a Muslim. I guess what? Ah, uh, I don't know, hey, bro. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a, an expert on you know your Bible, so that's why. Yeah, you know, I mean, you don't got to be an expert to know that Jesus, like you said, submitted his will to his Father. So you were right. Even, even without being a scholar and super learned, you understood the basic of what the Bible teaches, that Jesus is the son of God. So, and you, and you affirmed it. Like, yeah, you said you believe that, yeah, God is his father. So you're not a Muslim, bro. I, I, was, I was contradicting myself. I did not contradict the um, a belief system of Islam. No, you you didn't contradict yourself. You contradicted the you contradicted Islam though. Islam says Jesus is not the son of God. Allah is not a father to him or to anyone else. But you said yes, Allah is his father. Multiple times. You're not a Muslim. It's okay. Matter of fact, I mean you're you're it's it's okay. Islam is false. It sucks. It's actually true that Jesus is the son of God. So come to, uh, I guess maybe you're right, yeah. So come to Christ, man. Stop, stop, man, stop messing around with this confusing is Islamic religion that teaches you can sleep with little girls and, and boys and mm. and have commit adultery and go pillage, you know, villages and take married women and things of this nature. Come to Christ, who teaches you to be holy, to be righteous, to be just, gives you the truth. And you can walk in a surety of your salvation. That you die today, you're gonna be with Christ again in heaven, for sure. Um. Right. Yeah, I, I get that. But uh, I do have one question. Like before I go, if you don't mind, um, why would you, you don't mind me asking? Why would you leave? What? Why would what? You, what? Why would you leave? We're just getting started. Um, because I have I have a homework to do. I am a student of you know the university. Oh, you have homework? Yeah, yeah. I only I have one question. All right. Before you do that, can I add? Can I add to your homework? Just one little thing. All right. Sure. Go ahead. You have a Bible? I do not, but yeah. I do. I do have an internet though. You got the internet. Okay, that's good. You got the yeah. internet. All right. So do me a favor, bro. Um. On your on your on your your homework for today, for every day I want you to do is to pick out, take at least 15, probably 15 minutes of your day, 10 to 15 minutes of your time while you're in the mode of doing homework. Okay. And open up the Bible, get on the computer, open up the Bible, and read read the book of John. Just about 10, 15 minutes a day. It's it's only it's only twenty like twenty one chapters, so you'll be done with it in like that. But I just want you to read that as your homework, okay? That's it. Okay, yeah, for sure. All right, for sure.
So, yeah. so, um, so you know, my last question is, um, I I seen a video where, um, you know, do you know Sheikh Oman, right? Me? No, I say, do you know who is Sheikh Oman? No, nah, who is that? Yeah, he's a preacher, you know, a Muslim preacher. So I seen a video in a TikTok where he, where he, you know, um, where he debate with a pastor, a, a Chinese pastor, a Chinese pastor. An Asian pastor? Okay, yeah, I seen that he, video. Yep. Yeah, that one. So can you explain that one? Where he's asked talking um, about the genealogy of Mary? Uh, genealogy oh, of no, Jesus? No. I, I'm talking about the um, numbers of the H. They um they did change. I I didn't I didn't see that one, but um, um, I, I I'm pretty sure I already know what he's uh because he's bringing up the same stuff even though I've cor- he's been corrected on this multiple times. Um, was he asking about Jehoiachin or Ahaziah? Oh yeah, Ahaziah, yeah, that one. So that Ahaziah, okay. So what it is 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 you have um. In the Hebrew, 18 and 8 very closely assimilated together. They look just alike. Um, and so what you have is, is you have the manuscripts, most all the manuscripts they say for Ahaziah that he was 22, right? In the Masoretic text, it says that he was 42. And that's the copyist error. And most of the man, all the other manuscripts, all the other scrolls say 22, while this one says 42. So that's that's the one that has the little copyist mistake there. <clears throat> it's, a, it's, it's what we call a textual variant. So we're, we're able to spot that because we have the others that are consistent with each other. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah, uh-huh. And so this stuff has been explained to Uthman multiple angles and multiple times, and he's still trying to use this argument on people who don't know how to answer these things. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, man, um, you should check out, uh, if you watch Sheikh Uthman, check out uh, God Logic Apologetics. Check him out. Yeah. Check him um, out on YouTube. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I, think, I think you'll like him. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, take care of yourself, man. And remember, do your own, uh, 10 to 15 minutes a day, read the Gospel of John. Okay, read the Injil. And and I want right, I want to know, I, I want to know what you think. I want you to come back one day and tell me like what you think. Sure. And and hold on, can I add something real quick? Sure. You know, before I go, um, do you do you um do you remember like maybe in twenty twenty three, where maybe um, um, what's that called? A Muslims may um a a Muslim guy come to your life. His name was same as my name. No, I don't remember. Um, um, but you kick him out. I don't remember. You don't remember? I. Uh, it's all right. I. Uh, I just want to if you remember him or not. That's it. Nah, I try to not remember trolls or people who are dishonest. If I if I kick somebody, it means that you're being dishonest. So yeah, I try. I try. To, I try to. <laughs> I try to forget those people. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's all right. That's for sure. Was that you? Was you being dishonest with me? No. no not at all. I, I swear. Oh, you saw it. It wasn't you. Nah. Okay. Good. I'm glad it wasn't you. Yeah. That's for sure. All right. All right. So, bro, um, I got to go. I, yep. I, 10 to 15 yeah, minutes a day. Right. Book a job. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bye. All right, peace. Okay. Yo, what's up, man? What's going on with you, man? Yeah, you know, this is a senior man, right? Hold on, you uh do you have headphones on or something? Yeah, bro, I'm driving, man. I got my headphones. Do you mind? Would it be would it be bad? Would it be hard for you to hear me if you took them out? Cause your sound doesn't sound that great. If I take it, if I take it out, you know, uh, I might not hear you. You know what? Okay, no problem. Maybe that would be next time because I'm driving. I'm going to drive over 400 miles. Now, so. You said 400 miles? Oh yeah, I drive truck. Oh dang. So, yeah, yeah. 
So hold on, hold on. Let me let me just yeah, because I if if I could barely hear you, I know that the audience could barely hear you. Hold on, let me um So you say you said Jesus is a uh, proof to me Jesus is a Muslim, Jesus son of God. I had a brother was saying, did the brother believe Jesus to be son of God? And you said the Quran said Jesus uh Quran does not support Jesus being son of God, right? Right. And the brother was like, uh, yeah, Jesus cannot be son of God because the Quran does not believe. Actually, you call him Jesus son of God. Is he biological son of God? What? Is he, is he biological son of God, metaphorical son of God? I can't understand you, bro. That's the question. Is who? Okay, calling Jesus. Okay, Bible calling Jesus the son of God. Does that mean that the son of God, biological son of God? God give that to him? All right, so do, do me a favor and like take your... I don't know if your volume down or your phone away from your your mouth or something, your microphone from your mouth, because it's like on certain words, it's like. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's Can better. Oh, okay. I said, when they're calling Jesus to the Son of God in the Bible, does that mean that God gave birth to Jesus to you? Uh, that's the well, well, one, he's not biological, but he is begotten. Um, is it? Is it? Is it? But but you already know the answer to this because we've talked about this before. Does it? No, 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 wait, but does wait, it? Does it? Does wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. Here's here's my here's my question wait. to you. Here's my question to you. Sorry, does it? If does it? Has, does it matter in what way Jesus is the Son of God? Does it matter? The question is: Did they call them Son of God before Jesus came? Before Jesus was born, were they called themselves Son of God in the Israel? Yeah. The yeah. The, so. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on. They call themselves and they call the people to the Son of God before Jesus came, right? Yeah. Okay, so that means Jesus, Jesus being Son of God does not make any changes. Well, well, it's well, it's it's, it's for him. He's the only begotten Son of God. He's, they're not called so begotten. Did Jesus, did Jesus but, 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 hold on, but hold on, problem is, that is that's completely irrelevant. So they all call themselves sons of God, identifying God as their Father in some way, some way, shape, or form. Is Allah a, is, is, is Allah a father? Is is Allah a father in any sense to anyone? No, 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 no. This well, this is though this is this is why we're here. No, no, proud 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 Muslim. What's what's the topic? Proud Muslim. Proud Muslim. Proud Muslim. What's the topic? I'm asking you. Proud Muslim. What's the topic? Your topic said, oh no, you're gonna come back to topic now. No, no, what's the topic? I will always put you guys in problem, man. Okay, the topic said. Jesus was Muslim. All right, good. I don't need your money. So, proud Muslim, proud Muslim. Why, why? So, you came in and you was able to repeat what the brother was saying about Jesus being the Son of God. Why was we talking about Jesus being the Son of God? Why, why was that? Why was that being spoken of? I don't, I don't claim that he's Christian. So, are you able to answer the question? Proud Muslim, I'm, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you one last chance because you're manifesting. I'm gonna give you one last chance. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you one last chance. Are you following Jesus or you following Paul? All right. Thank you for thank you for manifesting. Take care of yourself. I bet. I bet. Thanks for manifesting, man. I I just want somebody serious, man. Somebody serious. Anybody serious? Haroon, you're up. Haroon. I just want somebody serious who could follow a conversation. He said, oh, you can't go to Allah. You can't, you can't talk, ask if Allah is a father. What was the whole point of us talking about Jesus being the son of God from the last brother? You was able to repeat what the brother was saying about Jesus being the son of God and Allah being his father and stuff like this, why was we there in the first place? Because they're trying to prove Jesus being a Muslim. So Allah is on the hot seat. Absolutely. <clears throat> I want another Muslim to come up here and say that Allah is the father of Jesus. Come on up. I welcome you. I will not shun you, I promise you.
Trinity Productions, God bless you. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, I uh, oh God, logic. How are you? Pretty good, brother. Thank you. Are you are you a Muslim? Uh, yes, I am. Awesome. Would you like to give a crack at it? <laughs> uh, at uh, proving that Jesus was a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, give me a second. All right. Take Please. your time. Take your time. No rush. Uh, you said uh, you don't uh, take the Quran and Hadith as valid sources? Not on the life of Jesus, no. Maybe if I wanted to know something about Muhammad, maybe. But not about the life of Jesus. I need I need the earliest okay. sources I can get. Uh, here is one according to your own Bible. Okay. Matthew chapter 21 verse 11 and the crowd said this is the prophet jesus from nazareth of galilee i don't know if i read that correctly oh well, that's fine Hi. um here is another one. wait 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 matthew 21 let's stay in matthew 21 i like matthew 21. matthew 21 people recognize jesus as a prophet how does that prove yes. that he's a, how does that how does that prove that he's a muslim <laughs> Uh, well, in Islam, Jesus is considered to be a prophet. So them saying that he was a prophet only proves further that he's also a prophet. Him being a prophet doesn't make him a Muslim. So again, how does him being how does how does people saying that he's a prophet prove that he's a Muslim? Him being a prophet is him being a prophet is the same as him delivering the message, the message of God. But he is not claiming to be God. Really? Yes. You just quoted verse 11. <laughs> Did you read the verses before that? Uh, no, I did not. Interesting. Did you know that in the verses before that Jesus is being worshipped? Oh, well, can you show me? Yeah, in the verses right before that, right before 11, Jesus is being worshipped. Start at verse 6. It says, the disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put on them cl their cloaks. And he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road. And others cut branches and trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. You know, Hosanna, they're worshiping him. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Where, where does it say they worship him? I just read it to you. Are you listening? Yeah, but where did it say that they worshiped him? I just showed it to you. Okay, can you show it please again? You didn't you didn't listen to me read it? I did listen, but I didn't hear the word they worshipped him. You don't have to hear the word they worshipped him. They're worth the act is worshiping him. They're glorifying him and worshiping him and putting him on the highest. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. They're saying that Jesus is the highest. They're saying that Jesus is Hosanna? They're saying Hosanna to the son of David, to Jesus. Hosanna to Jesus. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. They're putting, saying that Jesus is the highest. Okay. They're worshiping him. Yeah. Okay. That, that's, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. I do have some more verses. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll stick to here. So according to Matthew 21, and honestly, I mean, I, like I told you, I love Matthew 21. It gets, it gets better. Even though they identify him as a prophet, they don't identify him as merely a prophet, right? They believe that he's a prophet and more, that he's worthy of worship, right? Okay. Right? They put him at the highest. Yep. And they say that uh, worthy of worship. Is that what you're saying? That's what it is. They're the highest. Hosanna in the highest. That's being worthy of worship, bro. They're literally worshiping him. Was the father mentioned in Matthew? Not in this passage. So they did to uh, They're talking about the Jesus specifically. They talk only about Jesus. Yep. Because they say to the son of David, that's Jesus. Okay, I could get into that, but... Yeah, for those who are for those Matthew to debate with you. For those who are asking, Hosanna means like they're giving cries of adoration and acclamations. That's what Hosanna is. So they're praising him, <clears throat> adoring him. <laughs> yep, let's keep let's keep going. I like Matthew 21. Jesus cleanses the temple. Da 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 da. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So you, you want me to list all the verses first and then you can refute them? If you want, I mean so 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 Matthew okay, 21. Okay. So Matthew I'll, 21 didn't I'll work. I'll huh? tell you all the verses where Jesus said he was a prophet. Or just just wait, hold on, oh, excuse me. Again, Jesus being a prophet does not make him a Muslim. We just saw that Jesus is a prophet, yet he's being worshipped. Him being a prophet does not does not make him a god. So what you need to do is prove to me that he was Muslim, not a prophet. Prove to me that he's Muslim. Okay. Uh, first of all, what does Muslim mean? You tell me. Muslim means submission to God. To okay. And do you think a prophet has submitted their will to God? Uh, to the true God, right? Yes, to is, the only one. Is the only one true God a father? Uh, according to Christians, yeah, I, yeah, I think he is. All right. So, can you be a Muslim and believe that God is the Father? Um, Allah and the Father are the same. Really? It's just different names. Allah's the Father? Yeah, but Allah does not have children. He, Isa is not the... Uh, Jesus is not the son of Allah. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm confused now because at first you said he is the Father, now you're saying he's not. Is Allah the Father, yes or no? Let's see if we could get two Muslims to say this today. Is Allah the, is Allah the Father, yes or no? Okay, in early Christians, they did believe that the Father was the only God. They did not worship Jesus or the Holy Spirit beside him. So yes, uh, Father is the only true God before they added the Trinity and the Son God thing. Yeah, you reading off the internet doesn't help you, my friend. It doesn't help you. I mean, look, you... Because you, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, you reading off the internet... Using their arguments will get you busted because they're morons. Okay, so do not let them look make you look stupid. Don't do it. It's just simple. Okay, look, look, look. How long have you been doing this? To Reading uh, Bible and Qurans. Ever since I was an infant. 
and left Islam. Yeah, you see? Yeah, you've been doing this thing your whole life. I was, so I was born a Muslim. I was born a Muslim. And then I left Islam as soon you as I came. born a Muslim. Yeah, and then I came, and when I came out the womb, I left Islam and uh, been studying ever since. Really? Yeah, everyone's born a Muslim, right? Uh, your family was was not a Muslim? Not when I was born, no. But they were born Muslim. They're ex-Muslims today. Uh, I thought you said you were like Somali and you were Muslim. No, every according to you guys, everybody was born a Muslim, right? Yes, every every child is born pure. They don't have any sins. Right, but I'm not asking about being born pure. I mean, specifically born a Muslim. Yeah, yeah being, being born pure, and it is just like submitting to the will of God. Right, so, yeah, so I was born a Muslim, according to Islamic theology, and now I am an ex-Muslim. I, I, I was an ex-Muslim as soon, okay, yeah, if so, when, when I was born, I was born a Muslim, and then as soon, like two seconds after my birth, I left Islam. I said it. I said it. I said it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. If if so, then every church father has also been a Muslim. Then. Yeah, according to Islamic theology, church fathers are ex-Muslims. Yeah, yeah. If you wanna, Islam has produced the biggest number of ex -Mus of ex-Muslims in in all of history. It's crazy. There's billions of ex-Muslims. Billions? Billions, yeah. You said billions. Yeah. Aren't there like <laughs> how many humans are there in the, in the world? Yeah. Okay. So there's 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 almost like what two million or I've two? never uh, I've been a Muslim for a long time and I have never ever met an ex-Muslim in my whole life. You're talking to one right now. Yeah, but yeah, you you were never a Muslim, like. So we're not born Muslim. Yeah, you were born pure, but after you gain your own consciousness, you decide to so I, leave it now. Right. So they, they, so I was Muslim. Don't never don't say I never was Muslim. I was Muslim. I left Islam. You're talking yeah, to did, an did you you're, you're talking you to an ex-Muslim right now. Did, did, did you pray five times a day? Never. Did you not not Muslim? according not according to Islam's prayer. No, never. Then you were not a Muslim. But you just told me I was born a Muslim. Yeah, every child is born pure. And then you said that That's I left Islam not, when I gave. SH. You said what you you said. Hello. You said that when I gained conscious. Hold on. Yeah. Before you gain consciousness. Yeah, and then you said when I gained consciousness, I left Islam, right? Okay. Yeah. So I'm an ex-Muslim. Yeah, sure. Sure. Or you could just say, "Nah, nobody's born." You, you, you could, you could say, "You know what, man? That actually does sound dumb." No, no, nobody's born a Muslim. Nobody's born a Muslim. You could say that. Either say no one's born a Muslim and say that that doctrine is stupid, which I agree. Or, yeah, yeah, can you hear me now? Hello, hello, can you hear me now? Okay, yeah. Yeah, either say that that doctrine is dumb. Yeah, say, say that doctrine is dumb and nobody was born a Muslim. Or just ag admit that there's billions of ex-Muslims in the world, and you're talking to one. Ah, so that's what you re okay. So that's the yeah, I got logic. How you using logic? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I. Your voice is gone, huh? Yeah, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's just say when you are born, you're not a Muslim. You're just born pure. 
Let, let's just say that. Okay, cool. So you just said that Muhammad is wrong when he says that everybody's born a Muslim. No, no, no. I didn't say that he was wrong. I, I just said, let's, let's just say that. Let's not take that being born as a Muslim. But that's, but that's what, that first. but that's what Muhammad says. We can't, we can't revise Islam. If that's what Muhammad says, that's what Muhammad says. Either he's right or he's wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Logic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Logic. So was Muhammad wrong? No, he's not wrong. Then I was born a Muslim. And I am now an ex-Muslim. And there's billions of people out there who are ex-Muslims today. <laughs> Logic. Is this what you do against every Muslim dude? Yes. I use their religion. I give them their religion and show them how dumb Islam is. <laughs> <That's not> how <laughs> Look, even you're laughing at it. <laughs> you, you know it's bad when even you are laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing at how ridiculous you claim this dude. I, I, I agree. It's stupid. I... No, I agree with you. We're on the same page. I agree. It's dumb. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, bro. Muhammad made some ridiculous claims, I'm telling you. Huh? What's ridiculous? That every child is born pure? No, it's ridiculous that every child is born a Muslim. That's what's ridiculous. And Muslim means submission to God. Is is that ridiculous? It's ridic it's it's, it's ridiculous to, to think that it, as a youth in my infancy, before I have cognitive ability, that I was adamantly choosing to submit to God and also believe that Muhammad is a prophet. Yeah, but uh, before you were like four or five, did you have consciousness? Can you remember? anything that you were vaguely oh, what what yeah. what i what i the, the the okay what i what i remember the clearest what what yeah what i what i remember the clear there's one thing i remember and i'll never forget um man i remember like it was yesterday i remember when i left islam when i was like two seconds old that i remember vividly when I was when I when I was born, when I was born and I said la hila illa la, I then like retracted that two seconds later and said, Hold up. La hila illa la and Yeshua Hamashiach. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you don't have to say <laughs> Isa alayhi salam when he was a baby, he could speak. Oh, word? Yeah. Man, I, re I remember reading that in the uh, in the infancy gospel of Thomas, because I remember reading that. I was like, dang. I think it's the infancy gospel of Thomas. I, I, I don't know. I haven't read that. You haven't read that? Oh, yeah. That's in the, that's, that's in the Gnostic forgery, bro. Yeah. It was what? Why is the Quran why is the Quran taking stuff from forged books? Forged books? Yeah. Uh, what, what book was that? You said Thomas? Yeah. When was Thomas written? Uh a few a few hundred years before the Quran. Just a little bit. A, a couple of hundred years before the Quran. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Why why is the Quran why is the Quran taken from those from these from these Gnostic forgeries, bro? That don't make no sense. The Quran, the Quran is is not taking anything from any anyone. The Quran just has simple facts. Uh, the fact that Jesus was uh, able to speak as a child was a fact. A fact. Uh, the fact that he was uh, sinless and pure is a fact in the Quran. Sinless and pure, uh, that's a fact. That comes yeah, that that, that, that but that's a fact because it comes from 
the actual factual source that it comes from, which is the Bible, not because the Quran said it. No, the, but, but the Quran is absolutely truth. Really? Yes, it is. It's absolutely truth? Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Yes. You positive? 100%. You sure? <laughs> yes, I am. All right, so if there's a single falsehood in it, then it's and then the Quran is false, then right? Yeah, sure. Go to chapter two, verse twenty-nine. In the Quran? No, in the in Geo. Chapter two, verse what? Verse twenty-nine. Okay. Yes, what about it? What does it say? Uh, uh, he is the one who created everything in, in the earth for you. Then he turned towards the heaven, forming it into seven heavens. Mm. And he has perfect knowledge of all things. All right. So according to that, the heavens was made... After the earth, right? Uh, yes. Is that factual? Yes, it is. So the earth came before the heavens? Yes, it is. There is also a deep meaning behind every letter and every verse. I bet. I bet. So you have to look it closely. I bet. So looking at it closely, the heavens was created after the earth. So where was the earth before the heavens was created? And what was that? Where was the earth before the heavens cre was created. The heavens is the universe. So if the earth was created before the universe, before the heavens, where was it? Where, where was the earth? The heavens does not necessarily mean the universe, the yeah. whole universe. Yes, it does. It means the space, matter, and time. That's what the heavens are. You doubt me? You you doubt me? Do you doubt me? <laughs> yes, I do. Go to chapter forty-one. It's an easy explanation to that. Go to chapter forty-one. Yes. Everybody, start. We're going to read from verse nine to twelve. Thank you, Kelly. Verse 9 to 12. Okay, what? Okay, and you said, ask them. Uh, ask uh, them, O prophet, how can you disbelieve in one who created the earth in two days? And how can you set up equals with him that is the lord of all the worlds beautiful so the earth was created in two days then what happened all right hold on uh yes uh-huh keep going then what happened next he, he placed the earth he placed on earth from mountains standing high uh, showered his blessing upon it all right ordered all its meaning sustain us all, all of its sustenance exactly for all who ask good 
So he created the earth in two days, and this is in four days, right? It says, right? In four days. Yeah, it took four days in total. Okay, no worries. Four days in total. So in four days, he made the earth and everything on the earth in four days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then what happened next? Uh, then he turned towards the heavens when it was uh, still like smoke. smoke. Yeah. Uh, saying to it, to the earth, submit wo willingly or unwillingly. Uh -huh. They both responded, we submit willingly. All right, good. So, <laughs> excuse me, sorry. So the earth, and now the heaven is nothing yet. There is no heaven, it's just smoke right now. So it's not made yet, right? And so he says, to the earth and to the smoke, submit, come, submit willingly or unwillingly. They both do it willingly. Now, next verse, what happens next? What happens to the smoke? Uh, he formed the heavens into seven heavens in two days. All right, so that smoke, he made it into seven heavens in two days. Keep going. Assigning to each its Man, mandate. Uh -huh. and we are born it the lowest heaven with stars. Ah, light. so the lowest heaven is light. has is the heaven that has the stars. Uh, wait, lamps for beauty and for protection. Uh huh. And that is the design of the Almighty, all knowing. Yep. So. You got the seven heavens. One of these heavens has the stars. Mm -hmm. That's the universe, correct? That's space, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So yes, the heavens are is the universe. At least one of them. Are, one of those heavens are. So the lowest heaven we can maybe say is the universe, space. Adorned with stars and galaxies and stuff. And that came after the earth was made. How is that possible? Where was the earth before the universe was created? I mean, look, he is the almighty God. He could create whatever he desires. He could create the earth and have it it's in, in its own place. And then create the heavens and then put it in there. But without without the universe, there is no space, no matter, no no physical reality. There is none of that without the universe. Everything came into being, time, space, matter, energy came into being when the universe came into being. The unit the, the earth is made up of the matter and stuff that is within the universe. Not the other way around. So, factually, this is false. When you want to talk about logic, uh, God logic, when it comes to God and miracles, logic, uh, Logic does not apply to miracles. This, 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 number one, yeah, they do. Number two, I'm not arguing against miracles. I'm arguing against just straight up factual falsehood. This is false. By necessity, the earth had to be created after the universe, not before, bro. And, and that's what we know. Like, we know this for a fact. We know, like, for example, you got a computer with you? Yes. Do me a favor. Look, put in how old is the universe? Put that in real quick. See what comes up. Should be about like 14 billion years or something like that. Uh, 
It's 13.7 billion years old. I still got it. So approximately around 14 billion years old, according to what we know scientifically. Now do me another favor. Do the same thing, but do it for the earth. Put in how old is the earth? It's 4.5. 4.5. So the universe, according to what we know, is 14 billion years. The Earth is only 4.5 billion years. The Earth is younger than the universe. Factually. But the Quran wants us to believe that the Earth is older than the universe. That's just wrong, bro. Uh, yeah, sure. So, if uh, according to science, that's uh, what uh, is up. So, all I had to do was show you one falsehood in the Quran, and we can see that the Quran is a false book. It's not from God, right? No, it is still from God. How is it still from God when it gets when it has falsehood in it? No, well, look, uh, here is the thing. The thing uh, with you is you apply literal logic with it. When you apply that, uh, you don't get anywhere with reading <laughs> with reading miracles. <laughs> uh, when you do that, you 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 can't uh, like uh, com comprehend uh, what's going on in those forces. Okay. Okay. You can, uh, let, let me ask you this. Can God do anything? Uh, everything <laughs> that is not contrary to his nature. Yes. So, for example, he cannot lie. Exactly. He cannot that is lose. a beautiful answer. So he, he couldn't have gone against his nature to be, be a human, of course. And he could. No, he cannot, he cannot be divine and then not be divine and be human. That would go against his nature. Yeah, that would go against his nature to be yeah. a creation. He is a creator after all. He could. So, have the earth. so would you would you like would you like another example of how the Quran is false? Uh, yeah. Wait. So, but let me explain this one. That uh, you haven't. I, no, you you admitted it. You, there's nothing to explain here, bro. It's 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 over. You said you said that I'm using too much logic with it. I can't do that, so I have to, I have to take take my logic oh, yes. out. Yeah, you do live up to your name. <laughs> Thanks. <love> <laughs> so let, let me let me show you another way that I live up. I try to live up to the name, um, but in a different way, not with all the science or attacking miracles, but just really just based off the Quran itself. Okay, is that is that fair to do? What did you say? I just want to read the Quran itself, not try to attack miracles or supernatural things that have happened, and and you know, but just talk about the Quran itself, its consistency, and logically show you that the Quran is inconsistent. Can I show you that? Uh, sure. Okay. Although, uh, although he mentioned in almost every verse that he is all knowing, all powerful. That's all true. He, yep. He mentions a lot that he's all powerful, he's all knowing, and all this kind of stuff. So we shouldn't see any of these inconsistencies. Do me a favor. Go in the Quran and go to chapter six. What did I do with my other microphone? Chapter 6, 114. I'll be right back.
You there? You got the verse? You got the verse? All right, six, chapter six, verse 114. What does it say? Uh, so, O Prophet, should I seek a judge other than Allah? Well, he is the one who has revealed for you the book with the truth perfectly explained. Mm. Those who are given the scripture, knowing that it has been revealed to you from your Lord in truth. So you do not be one of those who doubt. Beautiful. So the part that I want you to focus on in this verse is that it says that this book is perfectly explained. You saw that part, right? Yes, and it is. All right, and it's it's perfectly explained. All right, I want to give you another verse that says the same thing, you know, says the same thing. Because I, I like to show that the a consistent thought, right, before I show you where it's inconsistent. Okay. Go to now to chapter 12, verse 111. Go to chapter 12. Let me know when you get there. And go to chapter 111, the very last verse. 100, um, yeah. uh, verse 111. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, you got it? All right, so what does it say? Uh, in their stories, there is truly a lesson for people of reason. This message cannot be fabrication. Rather, it is a confirmation formation of previous revelation a detailed explanation of all things mm. a guide and mercy for people of faith beautiful now the part i want you to focus on again is where it said it's a detailed explanation of all things you saw that yes sir beautiful so it's pretty consistent. The Quran is perfectly explained and the Quran is a detailed explanation, not of some things, not of the things that are important, not of the things that matter, but a detailed explanation of all things, not some things, all of it. Okay. Now let's be reasonable. I'm reasonable enough to be like, well, the Quran is not saying that it's going to teach me how to work a microwave or fix a refrigerator. That's not what it's talking about, okay? But whatever the Quran itself talks about in the Quran, it's detailed and explained about it. Is that reasonable? Yes. All right, beautiful. So now here is where the discrepancy is. Go to chapter 3, verse 7. It's actually a pretty famous book, a uh, famous verse. What verse? Verse 7. Chapter 3. Chapter 3, verse 7. Yeah, okay. What did it say there? Yeah. He is the one who has revealed to you, O Prophet, the book, which some verses are precise. They are the foundation of the book, while others are exclusive. Elusive. Those divine, defunct hearts follow the exclusive. Defiant. Yeah, defiant hearts, right? Or deviant, deviant hearts. I think it is. Uh, follow the deviation. So versus seeking El elusive. Uh, so elusive. It's, yeah, it's elusive, right? A L L U S I V. Oh uh, yeah, 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 it is. Mm. Uh, seeking to spread doubt 
through their false interpretations, but no none grasp their full meaning except Allah. Mm. As for those well grounded in knowledge, they say we believe in this Quran. It is all from our Lord. Boom. But no will be mindful of this except people of reason. Beautiful. So just to be a little clear for in mind, it said, as you said, that there in it are verses that are precise, as you saw. Those are the foundations of the book. And others, other verses, not entirely clear. Okay, so there are some that are clear, some verses that are clear in the Quran, some verses are unclear in the Quran, and only Allah knows the meaning of those verses. Not even the people of knowledge know those verses, but they, the people of knowledge just say, it's all from God, we accept it, it's all from God, period, and that's it, all right? So there's some clear verses, and there's some unclear verses, right? Uh, yeah. But the other verses, the other two verses that I showed you, what did they say? I forgot. <laughs> it's okay, I got you. Chapter 6, verse 114, it said that the Quran is perfectly explained, right? Yes. And the, last, the other verse I showed you, it said it's a detailed explanation of all things, not of some things, of all things. Yes. So if it's a detailed explanation of everything, then there's not going to be anything unclear in it, right? Uh, yeah. But chapter 3, verse 7, what we just read, says that there are some clear verses and there are some verses that are unclear. So those verses that are unclear are not detailed or perfectly explained. They're unclear. Uh. Well, when you uh, put it in their perspective, uh, this book had to predict what was going to happen 1,400 years ago. So it's still predicting what's going to happen in the future. That's why some verses are not clear enough. Yeah, but there are some verses that are not even about the... It doesn't matter. Whether there are verses in the Quran that are unclear, this means that the Quran is not detailed and explained about everything, which is a contradiction. Uh, like I said, it's a, it, it can't be a contradiction because Allah has to pr predict what we were going to do. And he, of course, already knows what we're about to do, so he already wrote it. My brother. And it's not about pr predicting verses. Wh whether they're whether the verses are predicting or not, these verses are unclear. While the Quran says that everything in the Quran is clear, so you you can't have them both. You can't have where the Quran says everything is clearly explained, everything, while at the same time the Quran says, oh well, actually there's only some things that are clear. Other things are not clear and explained. That's a contradiction. You can't have it can't be both. Well, uh, if you put it that way, you can say that's a contradiction. But I disagree with that. Okay, let me show you. Let me just uh show you that it's not what you're talking about. Because you're saying, oh, well, there's you know verses that predict the future, and so those aren't clear until the future comes to yeah, pass, right? When that uh, were those verses uh when these things happen in those verses, it will be clear. Okay. For all mankind. It will, will it be clear in the Quran or not? Uh, yes, it, it will be clear in all of it when they fulfill uh, those verses. Okay, those so verses. Uh, all right, so let's see here. So I wanted to use an example. Go to chapter 17, verse 1 for me. And we're going to see if this verse is clear because it was, it was uh, you know, you guys have a, a narrative with it and a belief. It's about the night journey. Oh, yeah. Now let's see if this verse is clearly detailed and explained about everything. And seventeen one, you said. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, 
Glory uh, be to the one who took his servant, Muhammad. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. It doesn't say Muhammad. That's parentheses. Don't don't uh, don't read the parentheses. The parentheses is when people add into the text. Don't read the parentheses. What do you mean? So Muhammad, I shouldn't say Muhammad. Not in that text because the is 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 Muhammad in brackets in that verse? Uh, Come on, you're looking at it. Is it in brackets? Is it does it have parentheses at the at the front and the end of it? I I, I have to look at it. It's in the Arabic. Oh yeah, in the Arabic, Muhammad's name is not there. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it is not there. Exactly. So they're adding that to the text, which it, and it doesn't belong there. So, so let's make sure make get get a make sure you get a trans or read the Arabic or a translation that is more true to the Arabic. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Glory be to the one who took his servant mm -hmm. by night from the scarred mosque mm -hmm. to the farthest mosque mm -hmm. from who surrendering uh, we have blessed so that we may show him some of our signs. Mm -hmm. Did he alone is all hearing, all see. Be beautiful. Now, first question. Now, remember, we're testing the Quran to see if it's detailed and explained about everything. Now, this isn't predicting the future. This already happened, right? This isn't predicting the future. So here's the first question. According to the verse, who is the servant? Uh, the servant is uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Where does it say it's Muhammad? Uh, it's... Logic. So... <laughs> yeah, but who else could it be? Read verse two. Okay, hold on. And we gave Moses the the scripture and made it a guide for the children children of israel starting do not take besides me and any other trust of our reefs so how do we know it's not moses verse the very next verse mentions moses how do we know it's not moses uh, because it says we have uh, gave moses the scripture yeah i know He's a servant. Wait, is is Moses not a prophet and uh, a messenger of Allah? Yeah, 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 he is, but I so, didn't mean to say it like that. Yeah. So he is a servant of Allah, right? Yeah, uh, yes. So how do we know that this verse one isn't talking about Moses when Moses is mentioned in verse two? I mean, you gotta go into the deep meaning of it. Huh? I, I started reading the Quran like a month ago. A I'm month ago? Like, I haven't fully finished it. Man, I'm trying to get you off the Quran. I'm trying to show you that you don't even need to waste your time. I'm trying to get you off of it. Do you see how the verse uh, is unclear? I love the Quran. Uh, what, what do you say? Do, don't you see how the verse, how verse one is unclear? It doesn't tell you who the servant is? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Now, here's the second question with this. It says that they took the servant from the farthest mosque, I mean, from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque. This is my question. What is the sacred mosque? Where, where is that? Sacred mosque? Mm -hmm. Where is that? According to the verse. Uh, isn't the, uh... Does the verse tell you where it is? No. Nope. The verse is unclear about where the sacred mosque is. Let me do it. Let me do another one. What about the farthest mosque? It says from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque. 
Does it say where the farthest mosque is? Where is that? Does it say? You can't expect an exact location. Of Why that. not? The Quran says it's detailed and explained yeah. about everything. You expect uh, people... No, no, no. You expect uh, God to write you a whole location of I, the mosque where it was? I expect God in his book where he says it's detailed and explained about everything to not be vague about anything. Not be unclear, because that's what he said. He said it's clear. Everything is clear. That's what he says. Everything is clear and explained in detail. So I expect to see every detail. I expect to see clarity. I, I don't expect to have to ask anything. I, I, I expect him to tell me who this servant is. I expect him to tell me where this sacred mosque is and what is that and where the farthest mosque is and what is that? Because it claims to be detailed, explained about everything. It's not my fault. That's what the Quran says. Oh, yeah. Well, that is uh, the same way with the stories of the prophets. Uh, they, they aren't like... Uh, detailed in the Quran. They it, are like a separate uh, in those verses. You're getting it. You're absolutely right. Now, the notice, these are verses and stories and details that have nothing to do with future prophecy or prediction. These are just stories the Quran talks about, right? And things it mentions, and it's not clear on these things, not fully. It's There's a lot of ambiguity. There's a lot of unclearness. Like you got to get these details going elsewhere. The Quran doesn't explain all this stuff. Well, but, but you you gotta put them together. Like you can't. You gotta, uh, yeah, you can. You can just put all the pieces together and then where from, the Quran doesn't have these pieces. It doesn't. Yeah, it does. You have to. There are a lot of uh, clear stories of the prophets uh, that were mentioned in the Quran. Yeah, like here, for, came up with for, for example, there's a story about Jesus and his disciples where, you know, he asks his disciples, who's going to be helpers of Allah? The disciples say, we will be helpers, right? So, okay, cool. So they're going to help Jesus spread the message of the gospel. Here's my question. Who are they? Who are these disciples? that are helping the, the, the Messiah, the word of Allah, the spirit from him that he cast down to Mary, the, 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 the prophet, the Rasul, the miracle worker, the one who's born of a virgin. He picked disciples. So it's important to know who they are. Who are they? They are his followers. Who though? Who are they? You expect to know the exact name? Yes, I expect to know who they are. You want to know why? But you want to know why I expect that? What? Because the Quran says it's, it's perfectly detailed. detailed. It perfect. You got yeah. it. You got it. So if it's not perfectly detailed, then that's a contradiction, right? Well, if uh, look, uh, hear me. If the Quran was like settled in like each uh, prophet has has their own like story and all the details were mentioned and as you say all the logic was there and exact details of everything was there, then it would be like more like a history book instead of a holy book. No, no, no. Uh, it could be both. About... <clears throat> it could be both. That's what the Bible is. The Bible is a holy history book. It gives us all the stories of the prophets in detail. It tells us about them, their fathers, where they're born, the areas that they preached, you know, all this kind of stuff, who they engaged with, who were their scribes, who followed them. Like we even know Prophet Jeremiah, for example. We even know the name of his scribe. His name is Baruch. Because the, the Bible is a historical holy book. It's about the history of Israel and their dealings and their trials and their times and God redeeming mankind and his revelation. It's both. Uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, is there any other sources than 
that there's Bibles that has historical evidence of them. Yeah, like you, you, you got, you got, you got traditions. You got rabbinic traditions, and you got uh, early church traditions that have writings from priests and scribes and rabbis and stuff like that that contain information about kings or people or prophets and stuff like that. Yeah. You, you think the early churches had the, the Trinity in them? They definitely did, but now you're switching the conversation, bro. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my point is, uh, there are uh, you can't just paste that off like the Bible, but like the Bible I'm not, has a lot of versions. I'm not. I'm not. Bible. I'm not. I'm not basing nothing on the Bible. I'm the, the only thing that I'm doing is talking about the Quran and its inconsistency. That's what I'm showing you. If the Quran claims to be perfectly detailed about everything and we find out that it's not, then that's a contradiction, right? Right? Nah. We got to be honest right. with yourself, bro. Be honest, man. The way you read them in the orders, there is a, a meaning behind every word. That doesn't help. And you. Every word is exactly detailed to have a, an absolute meaning. That doesn't help you. Behind every it, super deep it, meaning it, of the Arabic, it, 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 I still don't know who the servant. I still don't know. Who, I still don't know who the servant is. I still don't know where the farthest mosque is. I still don't know who any of Jesus's disciples are. Because the Quran is not detailed and explained about everything. So if the Quran says that it's detailed, perfectly detailed and explained about everything, but it's not, then the, that's a contradiction, right? If it doesn't fulfill what it says, yes, then it's a contradiction. Thank you. But it doesn't. The thing with it, with it that everything that it says is absolutely truth. Right. So is it absolutely true that the Quran is. is perfectly detailed about everything? Is that absolutely it true? Is. Huh? It, it is. Okay. It is. So you should be able to tell me who is that servant in chapter 17, verse 1 from the Quran? At this point, you're just asking. Uh, we can take an, uh, the same example as you asked. We could ask who gave uh, his servant the mosque <laughs> absolutely we could do that too very good who the heck is the one who took his servant to the mosque we can we can ask that question you're right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but see that was me that was me being gracious like i the, see there, there's levels to where i can grant something but if I wanted to really be that guy, I can do that. Who who is that? Who's the one taking a servant from the from the sacred mouse of the father's mouth? Who is that? I can legit ask that question. Now, now, see, now you, now you doing it? Doing what? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> Logic. <laughs> now you're doing it. Now you're part of the God Logic team, man. Welcome. Well, Welcome. Thank you for working with me. I yeah. appreciate that. And anybody that uses logic, bro, you're welcome. Anyone. Yes. It's it's, a, it's an open you. field, you know? So I'll ask you again. And I want you to be honest with me. Be logically honest with me. Yes, yeah, sure. When the Quran says that it's perfectly detailed about everything. Is that absolutely true? Be honest with me. Well, if I'm being honest with you, if I read those verses in their order, and I find out more about the story as I read further in, it, it does not lie. I agree. Not... You know what? I agree with you. 
if elsewhere in the Quran, it gives you this information, you're right. It still gives you these details in the Quran. You're absolutely right. So how about this? How about we do this? How about we start with chapter 17, for example? Let's read a little further and let's see if it tells us who the servant is. 17. Yep. We read verse 1. We read verse 2. Let's let's keep going. Let's see if it eventually tells us who the servant is. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I'll wait. Uh, 17.3. Yep. Keep going. Let's see if it finally tells us who the servant is. All oh, descendants of those we carried with Noah in the ark. He was indeed a grateful servant. Uh oh. Uh, so is it Noah? And uh, no, it does not say that he is the servant. Mm. So no. So okay, let's keep going. Maybe it'll tell us. We. And we want that want the child of is the children of Israel, and in the scripture you will certain certainly cause corruption in the land twice, and you will become extremely arrogant. Again, it does not mention your servant. Hmm. Uh, and the first two warning uh, would come to pass we would send against you some of our servant of great might who who would uh, revenge your homes this would be a warning fulfilled now there that mentioned servant <laughs> Good dreams, Paul. Good night. Mm. Did you find it? Yeah, it was three verses away. So who's the servant? Uh, our servant of great might. We have we sent against you some of our servant of great might who will revenge your homes. This would be a warning for food. So we still we still don't have the answer. Look, dude, if I memorize the whole Quran, I would probably easily answer that. I promise Let's you, see. I promise you right now, and this is the reason why I even use this as an example, is because nowhere in the Quran. In all the 114, maybe 116, depending on if you ask Ibn Masood, chapters of the Quran, does it tell you who that servant is? The Quran never answers that question. You have to go to the Hadith. It's nowhere in the Quran, bro. And any Muslim, any Muslim would tell you this. And tell you that I'm right about this. Any honest Muslim, at least. Yeah, but wait. In the Quran, it says that the Prophet Muhammad himself does not speak from his own will, but from God's will. What does that got to do with this? Uh, that he is the servant of God. It does not mention that on any other prophet. Yeah, it does. For it, mentions, it mentions a lot of prophets are the servant of Allah. Yeah, but it mentions it that about Jesus. That this, it does not say that they speak of uh, other than their own will. So what? This, this verse, one verse one. From the will of God. My friend, verse one doesn't say anything about the servant speaking from his own will or anything like that. So verse one, uh, verse that that detail is literally irrelevant.
So for the Muslims who don't understand, because uh, I got asked a question, you have the answer in the Hadith, so what's the problem? The problem is, guys, is I'm showing that the Quran is not perfectly detailed and explained. It said the Quran says that it itself, the Quran, is perfectly detailed, explained about everything. The Quran is not the Hadith, the Quran is. So I don't need the Hadith. I shouldn't need the Hadith. Whatever the Quran talks about, it's perfectly detailed and explained. I shouldn't need the Hadith to give me an answer and fill in the holes in the gaps that the that the Quran leaves. So this is where the problem is. If if the Quran didn't claim to be perfectly detailed about everything, this wouldn't be a problem. Books have ambiguity. That's fine. There's going to be some clear things, some unclear things. No problem. But the fact that the Quran says that everything in it is clear and detailed and explained, I got I to hold the Quran to what it says. Like logic. Hmm. I want to also use some logic since I'm part of your logic club. Wait, but before you do, before you use your own, I got to see if you can be logically honest first. Yes, yes. Uh, if you go to uh, the Quran uh, in chapter 42 of verse 51. that This is going to answer the question? Uh, it, it, it does. It does. All right. So uh, chapter 42, verse 51 is going to tell us who the servant is. Uh, yes. All right. I'm trusting you, man. Yes. Don't get kicked out of the club. Uh, you know the, uh, that uh, Muhammad is the prophet who who the Quran was revealed to in the cave by Jibril. You know that, right? Um, no, I don't. I heard that, but I don't know if that's true. But nonetheless, is this is this what helps? Yeah. Okay. Forty two fifty one. It is not given to any human being that Allah should speak to him. Unless by inspiration <clears throat> or from behind a veil, or that he sends a messenger to reveal what he wills by his leave. Verily, he is the most high, most wise. How does this tell me who the servant is in 17:1? This tells you that the messenger who could not be any other than Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Uh, who could speak other from from uh, the will of God? Because this says nothing about Muhammad. His own will, he would uh, he would not be able to. This doesn't say anything about Muhammad, nor about the the night journey, bro. Yeah, but when was re the Quran revealed, and who was? Who cares when the Quran was revealed? This doesn't tell me who the servant is who was taken from the it, farthest mosque to exactly the... tell you who the servant is. It says it is not given to any human being that Allah should speak to him unless by inspiration or behind a veil or that he sends a messenger. Wait, wait, which, which of the servant uh, was... Uh, this doesn't even mention a servant. It doesn't mention a servant. Yeah, yeah, but let's forget about the servant, uh, the Wh will of God. Why are we forgetting about the servant when my only question is no, who is that servant? No, no, this has to do with the servant, but, but listen to me. The Quran was revealed uh, 600 years after uh, Isa or uh, Jesus. Uh, you're out of the club. Yes. You're not. You're not uh, using your logic. Who do you think other than Muhammad uh, could, could have been revealed to? If you say that he is not the servant. If uh, this uh, chapter this chapter 17 is not talking speak. about the is not talking about revelation being given to the servant. Chapter 17 does not mention anything about revelation given, being given to that servant. Come on, bro. Wait. I'm giving you a chance, man, but you're, you're running thin. You're out the club now, but I might have to move on to the next person. I'm not the logic club, but please. Yeah, I think you're out of the, you're out of the club, man. Because you're not using your logic right now. <clears throat> uh, 
So can you just can you just admit that the Quran does not tell you who the servant is? Can you just admit that so we can be honest and move from like we don't have to hang on one point so long if you're honest. We could have been past this. I am being honest. I, I am being honest. The thing is, I, I can't be honest with you if I haven't read the, the whole Quran. I can't be honest because I haven't re fully read it. After I fully read it, I can tell you my honest uh, response to that. Mm. That I haven't fully read it. Got it. So if it, if it comes to you then and you find out that actually the Quran does not tell you who the servant is or that the Quran does not give you the details or the names of the Jesus uh, disciples, then you'll see that the Quran does not fulfill what it says, right? That it's Wait, perfectly detailed about everything. Wait, let, let me ask you this. What does uh, it matter uh, whether it was revealed the name of the disciples or not? How does that affect uh, the Quran? Uh, anything in the quran because the quran because the what is it what have i been repeating that the quran what's the verse i've been repeating the yeah, quran is what it was supposed to be detailed but beautiful if, so if it doesn't have details then the quran doesn't meet its fulfillment that it says right yeah okay so if it doesn't have the details of who the disciples are the quran falls yeah, but it's not only about the disciples. The Quran teaches uh, almost everything about life. Well, I, it's not. It doesn't say that it's detailed about some things in life. It says it's detailed about everything. So if it's not detailed about who the disciples are, then the Quran is false. What, what does it matter? The disciples. Uh, they didn't mention the disciples of uh, Muhammad in the Quran either. The Quran doesn't mention. Does Does the Quran mention disciples of Muhammad? Uh, it does not uh, exactly so i don't so it doesn't have to give me so so since it doesn't mention disciples about muhammad it doesn't need to give me details on something it didn't talk about but it talked about the disciples of jesus so it should give me details about the disciples of jesus right uh, yes okay and if it doesn't give me details about the disciples of jesus then the quran falls right no, it, it gives you details about Jesus, not his disciples. His disciples are only his, his followers. Does it mention his disciples? Yes, it mentions them. So, should it give details about them since it mentioned it? F mentioned yeah, them? it could mention what they have done, not their exact name <coughs> and height. Does it say that it's detailed about everything or some things? Uh, some things, uh, not everything. Like All right, do me a favor again. Read chapter 12, verse 111. Go back. This is what we got to do with you guys. You guys you guys take five steps forward and a hundred steps back. This is why these conversations with you guys are so long. Because you guys are you guys are dishonest with your own book, though. Like not no, it's dishonest. with your own book. My God. You're the one who's saying that uh, just because we don't know the names of the disciples. Go to chapter 12 for me again. It doesn't make it false. All right, go to chapter 12, verse 111 one more time. And this will be the last time I bring this up. This will be, this will be my last thing with you. If you if you can't admit the truth here, then we gotta I gotta I gotta skip you off. I'll, I'll, I'll read it out for you. In their stories, there is truly a lesson for people of reason. This message cannot be fabrication. Rather, it is confirmation of previous revelation. A detailed explanation of all things. Of what? Of all things. Does it say some things? And mercy. Pause. People of faith. Is it a detailed explanation of some things or all things? A detailed explanation of all things. So when it mentions the disciples, it needs to give me all the details and explanation about the disciples, right? Mm. The disciples are not all things. That's not what I asked. When the Quran mentions the disciples, then it should give me details, all the details about the disciples, right? Who they are, where they're from. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And if the Quran doesn't do that, then it failed to meet what it said it does, right? Yeah, yeah sure. Which would mean the Quran is then false, right? Uh, sure, yeah. Okay. So now, here's the question. Does the Quran tell you who the disciples are? God bless you. Dude, how long are you going to keep doing this? Does the Quran tell you who the disciples are? No, it does not. But Do it does uh, 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 uh. So it does not tell me who the disciples are. So then the Quran is lacking in details, correct? About what it talked about, right? Oh, uh, yeah, so. Then the Quran failed about what it said it does, right? Yeah, sure. So. Which means the Quran is then false, correct? Uh, the Quran cannot never be false, dude, no. All right. Well, I dust my hands. Thanks for this, though. Hey, I want to tell you this right now. You were respectful. I like you. You're cool. Matter of fact, you actually can't come back, but I have to end it here, okay? Yeah, dude. All right, you take too. care. Take care of yourself, bro. Have a good one. You too. All right. Student of Sahaba. How are you? Good, you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. Would you like to prove that Jesus was a Muslim? Uh, which Jesus are we talking from the Bible or just historically? Yeah, the historical Jesus. Oh, yeah, the, the, the historical the Jesus. Christian narrative or? The historical Jesus is in the Bible. You would claim that? You would deny that? Yeah, I, I would say the historical Jesus isn't in the Bible. Okay. What language did Jesus speak? I would say he spoke uh, the closest. <laughs> you muted up, bro. I can't hear you. You probably got a phone call. You there? Yeah. Hey, hold on, hold on. Swipe, swipe, swipe out of the app. Swipe out of the app and then come back. You get a phone call that like does this terrible bug thing. Oh, man, I don't know what I would do. Maybe he'll come right back, though. If you are a Christian in the request section, please remove your uh, request, please. You guys have seen my lives long enough, and you still like requesting up here while I'm talking to Muslims. I don't, I don't understand it. Guys on YouTube, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you smash that like button like you fear disobedience from it. If you haven't hit the like button already and you hear me right now and you're listening to my voice, hit the like button. We should be at over a thousand likes at this moment with all of you guys watching. There's, all, there's almost 1,100 people on YouTube watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. There should be over 1,100 likes. All right, all right. How you doing? 
Um, Riff, Riff Warrior. <clears throat> All right. I'm going once, going twice, man. Disconnected. All right. I think Student of Sahaba is back. There we go. Yeah, my bad, bro. Mm. Yeah, so what uh what language did Jesus speak? Yeah, you can hear me now? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, proper, proper, proper. Yeah, yeah what were we saying the last thing? Uh what language did Jesus speak? You sound really familiar too, by the way. Yeah, I was asking probably like I heard you from somewhere, right? Hmm. I swear. It's a classic, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> Lord have mercy. How you like TikTok? It's pretty cool, you know. I didn't know this was a, a chill zone. You you said you didn't know that it was a chilled one. A chill zone, you know. Oh, a I chill thought, zone. I, I thought you were tired, bro. Not gonna lie. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Man, we we just hit over a hundred thousand subscribers, man. Two thousand subscribers? Uh, almost <laughs> over. We got over a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. Oh no way. Mm -hmm. God's been good, man. Oh, you got 32 here. Mm -hmm. too. Yeah. yeah, I might try and do my own little channel thing, right? Okay. Yeah, get on your way, fam. See what's going on. <laughs> all right. As long as you spread truth, man, you should be all right. <laughs> hey, one of the names of Allah is the truthful, right? That is true. al haq Oh, you've been working on your army, mashallah. All right, oh, so that that Arabic accent sound a little good, a little better. Yeah, mashallah. <laughs> what you been studying, bro? What you learn about Islam since the last time I saw you? I learned a lot. I learned that Jesus wasn't a Muslim. That was all you learned? Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But yeah, so what language did Jesus speak? Yeah, I would say the closest language to the modern day Arabic we got. What is that? Arabic. Uh, what would you say the closest one was in this time? I don't. You, you got to tell me, bro. What what language did he speak? Allah uh, alam. You already know me. I'm not somebody who goes off of uh, old scriptures and such. It's like ask me what language any prophet spoke. Some scholars say they all spoke Arabic. Some scholars say they spoke the language of their people. No scholar says that Jesus spoke Arabic. Or Sorry. Moses or any of them. Excuse me? No scholar says that Jesus spoke Arabic or Moses spoke Arabic or any of them spoke Arabic. No, it is actually uh, very blatant because we have it that uh, Adam salam, was told to say uh, basically greetings to the angels and that will become the greetings of his descendants, right? And he said, as -salam. Yeah, can you show me, can, 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 can you show me a scholar that says Jesus spoke Arab, uh, Arabic? An Islamic scholar? Yeah. Yeah, if you uh, if you go into uh, let's see, let's see here, you see the verse for where it says that Allah sent people of their nation. Yeah. Yeah, go into the tafsir. I know you know what tafsir is. Yeah, not not no scholar in that tafsir says that Jesus went to his people speaking Arabic. He did, they don't say that his people spoke Arabic. No, there's scholars that say uh, the NBA that Allah quotes when Allah quotes them speaking Arabic, they spoke that language of Arabic. No, it doesn't, and not even a top series. Guys, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> so yeah, can you can you show me the scholar that says you Jesus also, spoke Arabic? You're still learning uh, Arabic from online, right? Can you can you show me where the scholar says Jesus spoke Arabic? Yeah, I don't have uh, two phones, bro. I'm a civilian. I'm going to have to uh, swipe off. All right. I'll give you time because that's interesting. I want to see that. So I'll give you time. Get like probably take like what, fit, what five minutes or something. I'll even this. Okay. So I'll, I'll bring you right back when, you, uh, when you're ready. No, nah, no. Nah, chill, 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 chill. What? I, I want you to look it up and find it. No, nah, there's no need. There's no need. There is a need. I need to see this. We'll, we'll write it down. 
and then in a bit here, we'll go Google some facts. No, I need it now. Or if you have a, a search engine, other than what's uh, live right now, I can give you something to Google. I know. I need you to do the work for me. Come on, bro. I, I have one engine. You have four. Like, come on. Come on. Mm-mm. I just, it should be simple, bro. Is there an Arabic scholar or an Islamic scholar that says Jesus spoke Arabic? I, I wanted to see that. It should be easy. Yeah, bro. It's, a, it's, not a, it's not an invalid position to say that when Allah quotes one of the prophets speaking Arabic, that that was the language they actually spoke. Okay. Can you show me a scholar that says that Jesus was speaking Arabic? Yeah, bro. I just, just Google it, fam. This is, this is a fact. Okay. Here it's, it is. It's a valid I, I, I'll position. Do it. You said just Google it. I'll just Google it. I swear, bro, like, you know, right. bro's trying to kick me out the is, live. No Islamic scholar. Search this. Uh, that says. Should I give you what to search or are you just going to freestyle? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. What should I put in? Uh, you'll freestyle it first and then let's see what pops up. No, no, no. Like, like, we're wasting time. What should I put in so I can find uh, this, what I'm put, looking put for? This in, put this in, put this in, okay? Did the prophets quoted in the Quran speak Arabic? No, I want to know of Jesus. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's All one right. of them. He's one of them. Did Jesus? <laughs> Why would you ask me? <laughs> quoted in the Quran. <laughs> yeah, bro. Go ahead, and Google it. Speak Arabic. And uh, can I ask why right. searching? The, what the you first thing that people? the first thing that comes up is islamwp.com slash Islam fact says the short answer to this question is no. Uh, what website is that? Try the next one. What is this? Try the next one. What just read out the websites or freestyle? I think you're wasting my time, bro. Why are you reading the next one? Yo, why don't you just screen share whatever you're reading, bro, and then we'll all know what it says. I just quoted it. Wow. But um, I think you're wasting my time, bro. Wait, at least now you understand that it's a valid position for people to say if they were quoted in the Quran. No, I heard what you said, and you didn't claim anything. Uh, You made a claim and didn't prove. Give me any substance. It's not a claim. It's a valid position. So can you show me that this valid position exists? Can you show me that as the Islamic scholar says Jesus spoke Arabic? Bro, like you're you're not... you're, you're, You're... are you negating that I know what my p- opinions are in my own religion about my book? Yeah. Okay, that's on to you then, right? Uh, All right, thanks, Classic. Yo, chill, chill, chill. You're going to drop me because of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're wasting my time. That's cool. How you doing? Good. What about you? I'm pretty good, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Yes, right now, currently, I am a Muslim, but I'm not here to debate. Rather, I'm here to educate myself because recently I had some doubts in my faith and I've seen your lives uh, recently. I've started watching you and um, yeah, I, I would like to educate myself because I find Christianity a beautiful religion. Uh, me myself, I'm an Arabic. I grew up in a Muslim household, but um, they aren't as strict and they don't follow Islam as they should. And um, yeah, I find Islam a little bit strict, and and it doesn't add up. So, and I like the fact about Christianity that it's that uh, God the Father has given His only Son. Uh, as a gesture to humanity but the only thing that i'm struggling with is the trinity because when i talk to my muslim friends they said no don't worry about it just believe in allah allah is one and stuff like that but i'm an open-minded person so if you could just uh, with all due respect uh, explain the trinity then i might consider education education educating myself more about christianity What's your confusion on the Trinity? Well, they it doesn't add up because the my Muslim uh, the my Muslim friends say yeah one plus one plus one equals one, but the son is not the father, but the father is not the son. So if you could if you could like summarize it in a nutshell, that will be great. Okay, so the Trinity is the concept that 
God in his infinite nature and his infinite being consists of three distinct persons that share that same divine essence. So you have the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that all share and are united in the one essence of God. Mm. So that's what and, it is. And what what about what about uh, worship? Is it is it also like Islam that you have to pray five times a day, or you have to re uh, restrain yourself from no. alcohol? Well, no, that's that's personally up to you how many times you want to pray. The Bible says to pray without stopping, without ceasing. So you should always, yeah. can, it, like throughout your day, just be talking to God because it's it's prayer is not really a it's it's not a ritual. It's more of a relationship. It's your communication with God and Him communicating with you, you communicating with Him, right? So it's not about doing it at a particular time or doing it a certain amount of times a day. That's not what it's about. It's about your connection and your communication with God. That's that's what prayer is in Christianity. So mm -hmm. my 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 dad, I like my dad from what I remember growing up, he would uh he had consistent prayers where he would pray. I remember um it was early in the morning. He would be praying for a long time. I would join him sometimes. Um he would also pray like at noon ish and then he'll you know he'll pray before he goes to bed um so those were those were his that was his thing some yeah. do, some do other things and um what what about the holy spirit is it, for example my muslim friend says uh, uh the christian says each car or each uh they're all one god but they say they are co-equal but like is the father greater than the son or is the son greater than the god or are they all equal because how can three gods be all equal it, it, i'm just education education myself so yeah. so it's not three gods it's yeah the trinity is trinity literally means three and one try unity so it's three persons that are together the one god united as one god okay so yeah. it's three in one so when you, they're saying um you know how can how can they be co-equal it's because they share the same nature father son and, and spirit all share the same divine essence the same one divine essence they all possess it that's why they are the one god and that's why god is a trinity He's three persons. So um, now when you have, for example, Jesus coming down and taking on flesh and taking on the role of a servant and humbling himself, he, in this position, he humbles himself to the father, right? Willfully. And in this case, in his flesh, as a servant, the father is greater than him because he's serving the father. So it's a it's greater in authority, basically. Like, for example, at work, you are humbled, you're you know, humbled before your boss. You know, you work for your boss, you submit to your boss. So your boss is greater than you in authority, right? In that aspect. But yeah. your boss is still equal in value to you as a human, right? He's not greater than you as a human. <clears throat> He's only greater than you in authority in perspective of y'all's roles. Same with the father and son. Jesus humbles himself before the father, and therefore the father is greater than him in that particular role. But they're also equal in another sense because they have the same value and, and are co-equal in their nature, in their essence. Yeah, right. So recently, I haven't feeling I I have I haven't feeling my religion, my faith is not as strong as it used to be. Yeah. Uh, with Islam. Yeah. So really considering, I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm really considering maybe to dive in 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 something else. But Christianity has has attracted me the, uh, the most so far. So what's, what's if you could give. Me yeah, yeah, go ahead. If you could give me one good reason why I should become Christian and leave Islam, mm -hmm. what would that be? 
Uh, it will be because in Christianity, you have the salvation of your soul. It's about where you end up eternally, right? That's the only thing that matters is where do I end up after this? And according to the Quran, Muhammad doesn't know what Allah will do with him or you. But with Jesus, Jesus says, whoever believes in me, I will raise him up on the last day. Whoever comes to me, I will give them eternal life. It's a promise. He says, if you believe in me, in my father's house are many mansions and I am preparing a place for you and I will come and take you to myself. And so this is what Jesus assures us. He promises us this. It's not a guesswork or anything like that. So what I would say why you should leave Islam, because you have no salvation in Islam and you're still stained with your sin. You know, you've done, your, but in Christ, he washes you clean and he assures you uh, heaven with him and his father. So. So if I become Christian today, do I have to get baptized or how does that work? Yeah, uh, the, the, because Jesus, you know, if we become Christians, when we become Christians, we obey the commands of our Lord, right? So Jesus commanded that we all be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So just out of, out of obedience to the command of God, yes, you, you want to get baptized as soon as possible. Um, you know, now to become a Christian, really to become a Christian is it's a it's a heart. It's an inward thing. It's not we don't have like something like a Shahada. It's it's up to you. It's in your heart. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9, it says. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and that God raised him up on the third day for your sins and you believe in your heart that he died for your sins and rose again on the third day, then you shall be saved. So, uh, so there's no shahada also in uh, Christianity. No, there's no rehearsal. So if thing. I if I if I just believe Jesus is the one true God in my heart, I'm a Christian now. Yeah. You believe that in your heart. You believe that He's the one who's your Lord, and that He's the one who has redeemed you of your sins, died for you, and rose again in power and authority. You're a Christian. You're saved. You have been grafted into God's family, and he has now adopted you as a new son. Is, do you think it's a sign from Jesus himself that I, that he is guiding me or something in that nature? If you're, if, if you're sincere, man, yes, absolutely. Jesus says that no one knows the father except the son and whom the son chooses to reveal him. Right? So... Uh, if you're if you're sincere, uh, you know, I don't know your heart. Only God does. If you're sincere, I do believe that it's because God is drawing you and he's been probably drawing you for a while. You know, so. And yeah. So I don't have to confess anything with my mouth. Well, well, that's what Romans 10, 9 says. It says confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. As if, you, if you're if you're capable, if you have the ability to do it, confess. Let me let me read you the verse. Let me just read it. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 9. Yeah. It's Romans chapter 10, verse 9. If you have a mouth to speak, this is what you this is what you do. So let's see here. How do I want to start this? Let's start at verse 8. But what does it say? So this is Romans chapter 10, starting at verse 8. Yeah. It says, but, but what does it say? The word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Verse 9. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart, one believes and is justified. And with the mouth, one confesses and is saved. Like, I'm really on the edge, but I don't know, there's, there's something holding me back to, to, like, to enter Christianity. But what is I it? don't know, there's just something. 
What 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 is it, my friend? And now, like, what what is it that's keeping you in Islam? It sounds like you already left Islam, right? Uh, well, what, what well is, what is it? the main thing is my family, because because my my, uh, uh, my culture is Arabic, mm. so in our culture, like, there is no normal conversations. You will get straight beatings with a belt, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. So, or maybe I will get kicked out of the house. Yeah, and I've experienced uh, such things with my brother because they were they weren't the most uh, uh, nicest of kids. Um, and yeah, I'm just scared to to be a victim of my parents' punishment. Yeah, yeah. Let me um let me read you something. What Jesus says here. Guys, uh, I know I ask this a lot. I always forget this one. What's that verse 100? And anybody in the comment section about uh, father and mother, daughter and and son for my sake. What's that verse? Give me that verse, guys. But that shows you that number one, the, the fruits of Islam, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the fruit and, uh... of Islam. And the thing that really, really made me doubt my faith is I saw a video of yours that uh, about the multiple Qurans. So yeah. the, the wash and it, it, it just wasn't adding up, man. Yeah. It, it really wasn't adding up. Yeah. It, it, it's crazy because uh, a, a, a large factor of the Dawah script that gets people to convert um and or or, or the, and that keeps muslims in islam is this trope that the quran is the only book in history that has been preserved letter for letter word for word never changed never tampered with never nothing right while everything else has been tampered with and you know misplaced and yada 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 and so when that bubble is bursted, it does a lot of damage, a lot of damage, man, because it's a huge lie. It's a huge lie that holds a lot of weight. Once once you see the truth of that, any honest person would be like, nah, you can't get with this, man. Um, but yeah, so this is what. Uh, this is what this is what Jesus says, man, Matthew 10 is good. I'll start at verse number 26. He talks about not yeah. being afraid and then talks about his family, uh, how to, you know, your family and stuff like that. So watch this. This is Matthew chapter 10, starting at 26. It says, so have no fear of them, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, say in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. So fear not, therefore. You are of more value than the sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also acknowledge them before my father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my father who is in heaven. And then he says this, because this is interesting. And, and if I become Christian, could I just sign up at my local church and just yeah, say, just, hey, I became Christian? Yep, just go in and tell them who you are. And, uh, you know, yeah, to tell them who you are, they'll welcome you with open arms and they will support you greatly. They will give, we just had a, yeah. we just had a sister last week, man. She was a Muslim and she on live came to Christianity. I have the video up on my YouTube channel. She accepted Christ and everything left Islam live because, you know, she saw, she had her own doubts. Um, and she was like, I, I can't. I can't suppress them anymore. Like this, this it doesn't add up. This doesn't make sense. Yada yada yada. And then I was showing her Christianity and Jesus, and she believed it and believed the prophets and everything. It was beautiful. It was really a beautiful conversation. And you know, she left Islam and came to Christ. And she said that she 
connected with Christians and has so much support beyond what she would ask, you know, because that's how that's how supportive they are, you know. So yeah, find your local church, go into the church, tell them who you are. They will celebrate you. They will hug you. They will embrace you. And they'll give you any, you can ask any questions, any tips. Same here. Same with me. You can stay connected with me and I'll, I'll, whatever you ask, whatever you need, I got you. <laughs> I got you. I don't know, since, since I've been talking to you, like this conversation, something just entered my heart, like a, a, a kind, a kind of relief mm -hmm. or you, you're so soft spoken and it, 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 it just feels right. That's the Holy Spirit, brother. It's not me. That's the Holy Spirit. It has nothing to do with me. I'm just a vessel. The Holy Spirit is what is pricking your heart, not me. It's the Holy Spirit. It's Christ that has drawn you and the Holy Spirit that's convicting you that Jesus is Lord and that Islam is false. And that it's the, it's the gospel, it's the word of Christ that is giving you comfort and confidence in him. It ain't me, bro. But you're 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 feeling what you're feeling is what I walk in every day. This relief, this sense of calmness and peace. I can't imagine it, how good life will be. This is how it is. Even in the uh, midst, even when things go wrong, bro, because things will. You'll have struggles. But in the midst of your struggles, Christ is there. The Holy Spirit is there supporting you, and you just have this peace that surpasses all understandings, even in your struggles. That's man. That's how real our God is, bro. I'm a living witness. I don't care what nobody else says. I am a living witness to that. I'm telling you. Screw it, man. Screw it. I want. I want. I want to do the testimony. Yeah, I, I'm. 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 I'm sure. Really. You're sure. Yeah, because is Islam? Islam just just doesn't make. Yani, it is. It is. I don't. It is. It's, it's just. It doesn't feel right. Yeah. Because every time, every time when I open up the Bible and I see so many, so many nice stories and, and yeah, it, 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 it just makes sense. All right, man. Yeah. I mean, so, so if you, if you, if I could repeat after you, that would be great. Well, it's not, it's, it's about you, my friend. So I can, I can tell you, I can give you a little model of what you want to confess. And but it has to be from you. Yeah. Like, remember, I told you we don't have a shahada. Yeah. Oh. So it's 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 on you. So I, I can ask you this, for example. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord? I, I know you just said there's no shahada. Yeah. You're lagging a little bit. Oh no, yeah. So I was uh like for it's for us, we like I told you, we have no shahada. It's based off of you and what you your, your self confession. Can you hear me? Oh, you got one bar. Man, look at this, guys. He has one bar right now. Can you hear me now? Hello, hello. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw the connection cutting out. So, yeah. But yeah, so I was saying, we have no, we have no shahada specifically, but it's a, it's your own confession from your heart. Yeah. Right from your mind and things of this nature. So I can. I can ask you and you say it, you say with your own self, okay? So I'll ask you, do you believe? So I just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just follow me. Just, I got you. I'll lead you. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you can. Um, yeah, continue. yeah, I got you. I'll lead you. I'll lead you. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord? This connection is bad again, guys. Mm. No, I don't believe it, man. It's yeah, I know. You're so gullible. You, you, you silly, silly man. You're such a silly man. Get owned by. Yeah, we, we, we knew you was a joke. I could sense you from the beginning. I could sense you from the beginning. <laughs> I mean, you, you guys aren't doing anything, bro. You guys aren't doing anything. We can sense you from the beginning. None of us are dumb. You even have the people in the comment section like, this dude seems weird, seems off. That's why I said, are you like, you know, if, if I don't know if you're serious, but if you are, if you're sincere, then sure, God's, God's leading you. I don't know. 
He wanted he wanted to get me all excited and emotionally invested in him. And do you think that Jesus is leading me? I don't know. And if your heart is sincere, yeah. If not, I don't know your heart. You know what I'm saying? We have that discernment of the Holy Spirit, bro. All right, let's see who we have. Let's see here. But that but that's what they have to do, you know. This is what Muslims have to do. They have to come up, they have to troll, they have to fake and waste time because they can't yeah, can they have me? no answers and cannot defend their religion or anything like that. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, so I get two thousand two hundred dollars if I prove that Jesus was Muslim. Yes. So I will I'm kind of nervous because, like, my brother is with me. So I'm going to prove you that your, Jesus was Muslim. Your okay? Wait, say that again. Your brother's with you. Wait, what did you say? Your brother's with you. My brother what? is with me, and mm. he's trying to make me laugh. So He's trying to make you laugh? Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm going to prove you that Jesus was Muslim, okay? How does proving to me that Jesus was a Muslim going to make your brother laugh? No, no, he just, I was laughing at a joke with him, so that's why I'm a little bit laughing. Oh, uh, okay. Go ahead, prove, prove okay, that Jesus is Muslim. Okay, I will prove it right now. So, suck your mother. Nigga, 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 Man, what is up today? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it, it's it's funny. Hold on, brother. It's funny. It's funny, man, because you know, it's it's not like like you guys aren't embarrassing me or anything. You know what I'm saying? You guys aren't you guys aren't hurting my feelings. There's 1,100 watching on YouTube, almost 900 watching on TikTok. And they can see the fruits of Islam. That's what you guys are showing. This is why I, I, I enjoy when you guys come around, the trolls. These Muslims who can't do anything but disrupt, but curse, be racist, lie and fake. These are This is the fruit of Islam. And you're showing a bunch of people what Islam is about. I, I will I will gladly give you guys a platform because the people that's in the comment section who maybe were thinking about Muslim because it's a popular trend right now, seeing how Muslims really are, you're you're giving them a front row seat. So thank you. It even start it start it's even in the kids, y'all. Even in the kids, the children. They got the children saying the N word and cussing and faking and lying, man. That's how deep rooted this demonic religion is. I'm telling you, it's deep. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? I'm pretty good. You Thank okay? you. Thank you. God is good. Okay. Well, my English is not very good, not 100, percent but I can try to to com communicate with you a little bit. Okay. Are you a Muslim? I'm a Muslim, yeah. Okay. Let's hope that you're better than the ones that just came up. <laughs> I, I, I don't <laughs> to to be to be clear, I don't know everything, but I, I know some things, but not everything, you know. I'm just a human being, so Okay. <clears throat> yeah. No worries. I, I love that humble start, man. That's that you're on the you're on the right track. Yeah, yeah. We we are people. We we need to be humble, you know. We're yeah. not perfect, so uh <laughs> Just like you, you're not perfect, and uh, that's it, you know? Yeah, for sure. All right, so how would you prove to me that Jesus was a Muslim? <laughs> how would I prove to you? So that's that's uh, that's your main goal, to, to prove that Jesus is a Muslim, was a Muslim. I, I don't believe he was. I think it's impossible, um, but... Muslims usually say that he is, so I, I'm asking them to prove it to me. Okay, and, and why why is it impossible for you? Well, because Islam didn't come until 600 years after the fact. Islam started okay. with Muhammad. 
So there's no okay. there's no way Jesus That's could have been a Muslim. How you think about it. Hmm? That's how you think about it. Yeah. Okay. The Muslim religion didn't didn't start until seventh century AD when Muhammad came about. Okay. Well, uh, when uh, our Prophet Muhammad, uh, peace be on him, uh, when he came, uh, the religion was completed. It didn't start it there, but it was completed. Okay. And uh, if you read like the Quran, you know, mm. uh, you would see uh, names of, of the prophets, of a lot of prophets, eh? like, uh, like Abraham, Moses, Jesus, all kinds of prophets are in the Quran mentioned. So then uh, it is logic. It, it, it didn't start it with, with Muhammad. It started way back before. And all the prophets, they uh, had the same message to uh, obey one, one God, you know, one right. God. That's the belief. And yeah, exactly. So, so it didn't start it with Muhammad. Well, that's Muhammad well, that's that's the claim. Our dean, you know. He, yeah, that's he just completed that's the claim. Religion. That's the claim. So, no, the, that's why that's, that's why fact. I'm challenging that's that. The fact, it's not the claim, but that's the fact. Okay, so very good. So, if, if that's a if that's a fact, I'm yeah, asking for well, hold on. Since yeah. that's the fact, I'm mm -hmm. asking for the proof of that. For example, Jesus. Show yeah. me that Jesus was also a Muslim. Well, Jesus, he, 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 he preached the same uh, message, you know? All right, can you the show me that? What? <clears throat> I'm sorry? Can you show me that? That he has I the same message? Is it, is it no, long? I cannot show you that, but you know what he preaches, right? You, you know you know, you know know what, what his words were, uh, and, and he only preaches love and peace and to be God, uh, to be good with, with, with people who, who need it. Uh, yeah, that's the opposite you know, of Islam, bro. Food, exactly, and... and like, like, uh, the, the that's that's the opposite of Islam. He taught the opposite. Of his, he taught the opposite. No, of that's Islam. not that's not the opposite of Islam. That's you. You're wrong. You're wrong with that. Is Jesus me, is Jesus the son that. of God, bro? No, he's not the son of God. Jesus taught that he was the son of God. That's no, the, where 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 did he say he, he's the son of God? If if you if you look at the, at the translation of of the Bible. And it is translated, you know, because it's not the original form. How how you read it now? You read it in English now. No, I can show you. you in the, I can in show you in the Greek because it's written in the Greek. Yeah, but you you don't read it in the original form. Yeah, know? the original form they, is the they Greek. Didn't, they didn't the, the original English form the, is the, the Greek. Time. Oh, excuse me. The original yeah. form is the Greek, and Jesus mm -hmm. says, "I am the Son of God." In the Greek, it is not the Greek. It is the Aramaic. How, can you show me that? They spoke. They spoke Aramaic in that time. How do you know that? Uh, that that's the history, man. Based off what? You can you can look it up. You can look it up. Yeah, what is that history uh, the based time, off? The of? time of Jesus, even even the name. My of my, Jesus, my friend, I, I hear what you're saying. But, listen, listen to me. No, no, listen, no. I hear what you're saying. No, Pause. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because even I'd, now, I had to mute you. When I tell you to hold on, you wait. Okay. So I'm gonna let you speak. Once you now get to answer the question, where do you get it from? What is this history? What is your source of history? Where you uh, where you get this information from that Jesus spoke Aramaic? Now you can speak. That's all I want. I want that answer. You probably don't know that you're muted. Go ahead. You can speak. What is this source of information? This source of history where you get this that Jesus spoke Aramaic? What's the source? What is the source? You, you you can you can find it everywhere, my friend. Where you can you can I, I don't know exactly the source, but got it. But, I could tell you. But, I could tell you. Yeah. Okay. You can tell me. You know where you know where they get it from? No. Well, they get it from the Bible. These these Greek <laughs> these Greek New Testament writings that tell you Jesus spoke Aramaic. That's where they get it from. Who, who's getting it from? Who? All of historians who study Jesus and understand that mm -hmm. he speaks, he spoke Aramaic, get it from the New Testament Bible, the Greek, the Greek New Testament that tells you he spoke Aramaic. Uh, uh, possibly, possibly it is, it is a part of from the Bible, but 
if 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 you go back you know the, the original form of 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 what uh, jesus preached uh, it wasn't english it wasn't greek he spoke aramaic and probably a little bit of like uh, he hebrew you do, know? do you do you do you have do you have jesus's words in the in the quran uh yeah yeah we have we have the how do you have his words in the quran he didn't speak arabic i'm sorry how do you have his words in the quran when he didn't speak arabic uh because uh our, our god allah he, he, he ah so i could say the same thing our god yahweh inspired the disciples the gospel writers in the greek and wrote down what jesus said in the language that was are, common the, to the tongue who are the gospel who are the gospel writers who, who are, are the writers of the, they, of the quran are they messengers of god yes are, are they mentioned in the bible yes where here you go one of them one the gospel of matthew but not, not, not matthew me, uh, hold on matthew I'm, he wrote he wrote the gospel, Ma gospel matthew right? wrote god the gospel according to, according to jesus okay, of matthew. so he wrote it himself so yep. he can talk also about himself and so and here he it is say, I'm, I'm matthew the tax collector god. hold on excuse me you asked a question yeah Matthew is one of the original 12 disciples of Jesus. Who wrote the Quran? What do you mean? How, who, who wrote the Quran? The same question that you gave me when I told you, oh yeah, so God inspired the disciples, the apostles, to write down the gospel. And your question was, well, who wrote it? Who are they? And I gave you well, one of the well, names. Well, so I'm asking well, you, same thing. Well, you said that the people who wrote in the Quran record words of Jesus that he never spoke because he never spoke Arabic. But God, you believe it, God revealed it and people wrote the Quran. My question is, who wrote it? Well, uh, Muhammad didn't wrote it because he couldn't write. Oh, man. So, so that's he, even worse. He, so it wasn't written by the prophet himself. So who he, wrote it? He memorized it. Listen to me. He memorized it. No, no, no. It, who, who wrote it? And the companions who were with him they also memorized it, and some of them wrote it down. And <laughs> Wait, are the are the companions messengers? The Quran. Are the companions right. messengers? No, they weren't. But they wrote. The, but they're writing the Quran. Yeah. W what's wrong with that? Oh, but but you challenged Matthew for writing the gospel, and he's even a, he's a messenger. Yeah. But so so know, so the God. No, so it's, Matthew. It's different. So it's different. If okay. So Matthew. So can you admit then that Matthew has more credit? No, 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 Wait. To me. Can you that's can you admit true. then? Can you admit that Matthew has more credit than the companions of Muhammad who are not messengers? No, not at all. Not Why not? All. not Why not? Matthew's a messenger. Because was Matthew at the time of Jesus living? Yeah, he's one of the disciples. One of the. Uh, how, how do you know? Because it says it right here in the gospel. He's one of the disciples. Because it's in the gospel. Right here. And he called to him his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and affliction. The names of the 12 apostles are, for, are these. Simon, called Peter. Andrew, his brother. James, the son of Zebedee. John, his brother. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These 12, Jesus sent out. So they're messengers. Jesus sent them as messengers. Jesus sent them as messengers. But you believe Je Jesus is God, right? Absolutely. It shows it right here. Only God has the ability to send messengers, right? You believe, you believe Jesus is God, but yeah. he's also the son of God. Yeah, only God has the ability to send messengers, right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Right. So this is Jesus showing you he's God because he's sending messengers. Uh, where does he say he's sending messengers? These 12 Jesus sent out, instructing How them. How do you know? How do you know that? It's in the gospel. I just read it. So, 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 do you, so do you see, my friend, do you see the amount of skepticism, hyper skepticism that you have with the gospel and the messengers of the gospel? But you don't have yeah, this. But you don't exactly have. Exactly let me finish. Because, let me because finish. Let me yeah. finish. But you don't have the same skepticism when it comes to your Quran and how it was no, exactly, written? No, exactly. Our Quran is preserved, my friend. It's not like really? the Bible. But, but yeah. it wasn't written by, by, by a prophet or a messenger. No, 
that's what I said. The the the, the prophet uh, it was what he couldn't write, you know. So it was written by non prophets and non messengers, right? Everything. Every every time when he when 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 uh, when when the angel came down and he gave him the revelation of the of the Quran, you know, he memorized it. So your Quran is written down by non messengers, correct? So it's written down by non messengers, right? No, they weren't messengers. You don't. Okay, they, so uh, hey, listen to the question. Listen to the. Oh, is, you're right. It is different. So you have the gospel that's written by messengers. And you have the Quran that's written by non-messengers. Which one should I go with? So, so you compare the the so you compare like the prophets with 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 the gospel writers. Yeah, they're messengers. They're messengers. So which one should I go with? The one that's written by messengers or the one that's written by non-messengers? Which one should I go with? I don't know. You choose. Well, okay. Would it be fair if I went with the one that's written by messengers? Maybe. Okay, if, good. If that's, if, if, that's, if, if that's your point of view. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So don't question me about the gospel no. again. I follow the messengers. Okay? Yeah, okay, but you yeah, don't. that's your point of view. You, we can discuss this, you know, but that's your point So don't question that then. We, we Muslims believe something else. No right? worries, but I want you, what I'm, what I'm, it's do. Not anymore it's it's going world. over your head. It's what I want you to do, my friend, what I want you to do the, is stop using double standards as a Muslim. Stop no, no, it. I'm not using double standards. Yes, you are. You're, you're showing your, your standards are hypocritical you're, you're, because you want me to be, to, to hold, stop talking over me. You want me to uphold to your standards, but you don't want to follow the same standards that you put onto me. Yeah, but, but you want me to. He said, yeah, but. Standards. He said, why yeah, you, but. You... Yeah, but. You don't get it. If you're going to establish standards, and put them on me, then you also go by these standards. And I'm showing you that by your own standards, your religion falls. Your own standards. Your own questions. Who wrote the gospel? Who wrote the Quran? Messengers wrote the gospel. Did messengers write the Quran? No. So go with the gospel, drop the Quran. How can you trust the Quran if it wasn't written by messengers? No, uh, that's 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 your point of view. You know, that's that's, that's logic. The, that's the discussing. That's the, the discussion we we and you we have. Logic. You know? That's what it that's, is. That's not logic. It's that's logic. logic. Yeah, from you, from you, it's logic. Logic. But from us, it's not logic. You know. So we we believe we Muslims we don't believe uh, the 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 Bible is in its original form. You know. And I don't believe it's, that the Quran is in its original form. Uh, that's that's your right. That's not the problem. That's your right. No, it's not. Not if it's not we true. Believe, we believe it is uh, preserved, you know, from from the time of our prophet. Till yeah, I, so I believe in the original I Quran. Nothing has been changed. Nothing I I, been changed. I, I I know you believe that. I also yeah. I believe in the original Quran before it was tampered with. What I'm sorry. I believe in the original Quran before it got corrupted. When it when it when is it corrupted then? It was corrupted during the time of Uthman when he burned the copies of the Quran. How do you know that? The Hadith, Sahih al-Bukhari tells me that. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't start don't start with that, man. Don't Logic. start with that because no, no. You, you you're just you're just making up some things now, you know? Oh. So where do you have this? Yeah. Of you, course. You think I'm making it up? You don't you never heard yeah, that? Of course. You never of heard course. that Uthman had the Quran's burned? No, no, no. We don't. We don't believe in that. No. Really? Let me show you. Mm. We're going on a trip. Logic. <laughs> Guys, help me out. What is that hadith in Sahih Al Bukhari that talks about? Never mind. I'll I'll, I'll see if I can uh, uh, whole copies. Be burned. Even even if you burn all the Qurans on the world, you know, in 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 less than one hour, we we bring back the Quran in its original form, my friends. I found it. You ready? You know, kids. You ready? Kids, 
were, kids who are five years old, they know the whole Quran. They memorize it. My Which brother. one? It's not. It's, it's they, not like the Bible, you know. Which no one? Hafs, Wars. Which one do they memorize? Because they because they contradict each other. Original Quran, my friend. The whole Muslim, which which one do they memorize? The whole, the whole, the original one. All right. We have one. Watch have this. One. We don't have thousands. My friend, my friend. We, ha we don't my friend, have John, my friend, Hunter, my, friend. my friend, we don't have that my friend, my friend, my friend. You're in panic mode and autopilot mode right now. Relax. Relax. I have the hadith. I am relaxing. But All right. So be quiet while I read the hadith. Lies, you know, you only lie. Be quiet while I read the hadith. Thank you. This is Sahih Abu Kari. Learn something, bro. Listen, listen, no, listen. Learn listen. something, bro. Yo, you, yo. you said I'm a liar. I'm showing you that I'm not Logic. lying. Logic. Can I show you that I'm not lying? Logic. Can I show Be you that I'm not lying? Be respectful. Don't try to. Can I show you that I'm not lying? You, you hear what I'm saying? You called me a liar, and now you're interrupting me and over talking me yeah, while I'm trying to show you the proof. The you lie all the time. Okay, so why don't you be respectful? Be quiet. How about this? How about this? How about I just shut you up? How about I shut you up? Here we go. Now you're in panic mode. Don't unmute your mic. You unmute your mic, you're out of here. Shut up. Get out of here. Here we go. I'll just do this for the rest of the people so they can see it. Sahih Abukari, 4987. Narrated Anas bin Malik. Here we go. Hudayfa bin Ali Yaman came to Uthman at the time when the people of Sham and the people of Iraq were waging war to conquer Armenia. Hudayfa was afraid of their differences in the recitation of the Quran. Wait, I thought they all memorized it the same way. I thought they all memorized it the same way, y'all. That's what I thought. That's what I was just told. They all memorize it the same way. Differences in the recitation of the Quran. So he said to Uthman, Oh, chief of believers. Chief of believers. Save this nation. Save us before they defer about the book as the Jews and the Christians did before. Save us. Save us, please. So Uthman sent a message to Hafa saying, send us the manuscripts of the Quran so that we may compile the Quranic materials in perfect copies and return the manuscripts to you. Hafsa sent it to Uthman. Uthman then ordered Zayd bin Thabit, Abdullah bin Azubair, Zayd bin Alas, and Abdul Rahman bin Hisham to rewrite the manuscripts in perfect copies. Now what happens is next. Uthman said to the three Qureshi men, in case you disagree with Zayd bin Thabit on any point in the Quran, why would they disagree? It's, it's just one, right? Why would they disagree? It's just one Quran. If you disagree with Zayd bin Thabit on any point in the Quran, then write it in the dialect of Quraysh. The Quran was revealed in their tongue. Okay, Uthman. They did so. And when they had written many copies, Uthman returned the original cop manuscripts to Hafsa. Uthman sent to every Muslim province, province one copy of what they had copied and ordered, here it is, and ordered that all the other Quranic material, whether written in fragmentary manuscripts or whole copies, be burnt. Logic, you're lying. 
your Uthman had entire copies of Qurans burned, rewrote it in his image and what he liked. If they disagreed, said just, you know, copy it in a Qureshi dialect and burn the rest. Burn it all. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, burn, baby, burn. And they get mad at us or at other non-Muslims who have Quran burnings. Uthman did it. Guys, if I were to ever get so mad that I end up burning a Quran, y'all better, y'all better not be mad at me. Uthman did it. Hashtag Uthman did it. Y'all should be mad at him. He burned the Qurans. Had them corrupted. And now the original Quran doesn't exist anymore. Now what you have is tampered with and corrupted. Your Quran says that they make the Quran. Your Quran says people make the Quran into shreds. Parts. Hashtag Uthman did it. Y'all better not get mad at nobody for burning Qurans. Your caliph, your third caliph, burnt whole copies of Qurans and manuscripts of Qurans. Stop it. Uthman did it. Y'all better not get mad. Anyway. I have time for one more, and then I have to go eat and decompress. Let's bring a Muslim up. Is there anyone that can teach me or show me that Jesus is a Muslim? Hello? Hi. Hi. I don't know if you remember me from before or, or what. I remember your profile. I don't remember what we talked about last time, though. Oh, me neither. It's been a really long time. I, I just had a question. Um, Okay, in, in Christianity, when we're talking about God, um, do you guys believe, like, I mean, we know God is the almighty, whether it's Muslim or whether it's Christian, um, but like the way that we believe in God and how he is almighty, it's like, um, like if he had revealed his Quran, the words on a mountain, it would have shattered. It's like, are you okay? <laughs> I'm, I have a cold. I'm still coming off of a cold. Oh, um, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So it's like even the word of God in Islam is so powerful, very, very powerful, to the point that that the 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 the, the, the creation would not be able to bear its weight. You know, this is a teaching that we have in Islam. So in Christianity. Is that a similar view that you share with Muslims? Um, it's interesting. You ask a very interesting question. We have we have similar how you feel about the Quran, it being uncreated, being the powerful speech word of God, revealer of God. And things of this nature. This is what it's similar to what we believe about Jesus, actually. Not particularly the Bible, but Jesus. Because Jesus is the Word of God, the Word of God who reveals God, who is perfect, who is uncreated, and who um, is so powerful that the universe cannot contain him. And but he, he sustains the universe by the word of his power. Jesus is that. That adoration that you gave to the Quran, we give that type of adoration to Jesus. It's very interesting. Okay, that's, that's yeah, that's interesting. See, because <laughs> you're saying he's the word of God, but wouldn't God have to exist to give that word to then become, you know, because like in, in Islam, Allah says, so it's be and it is. So well, God is God is not ever without his word, right? 
Right. So as long as his, as long as God is, so is his word. So the word has always existed. Right, because Which, God has always existed. Because God has always existed. So if Jesus is the word of God, then that means that Jesus has always existed because God has always existed. He shares that same nature. That same, he has that, that correlation with his essence. So then have humans always existed by that logic? No, because humans are not the word of God. Then what are we in Christianity? We're just, we're just creations. We're just his creation. Oh, okay. See, that's where we're different because even us as a creation, we're like, you know, God had to will us. So we had to, you know, he had to say be for us to be. That's how Adam was created. No, Adam was created from the dust by Allah's hands. Uh, okay, yeah, but like to give the life, that's how it worked. It says that he breathed his spirit into him. That's how he gave, that's how he gave life to him. Not, not saying be. Uh, yeah. Okay. So my, my whole, my whole question, because when I was asking, like, what, how do you see the, the, the um, idea of God, the conflict that I have with, you know, the, the notion that Jesus is God is the fact that he was born mm -hmm. to a human being and we, we, we don't, this this human being is not a god and it's it's you know when, when we're saying even the word of god was brought down if it was brought down to the mountain it would shatter so imagine being a human being bearing a quote-unquote god in inside of them like well, that's where the conflict is like how would that work well it's 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 interesting let's let's you mentioned the quran again the quran being god's uncreated word is here in creation is it not it's in books it's it's even in the minds of the people you guys recited from your memory and stuff like that so you even believe you even believe that the word of god has taken on creation at some point we believe that the word of god also has taken on creation at some point but flesh you believe the word of god took on pages in a book or the minds of people we believe that the word of God is taken on flesh. Mm. So it's, it's not, it's not, it's not as otherworldly as you think from, from what you believe about your word of God. It's not that, it's not completely other. It's not super, super, super different. We have a similar fundamental. We, be, we both believe that the word of God is, is, uncreated it's infinite it's eternal because it is literally one with god himself god is never without his word so the word itself has to be has to share with the essence of god that's why it's uncreated that's why it's so powerful and divine right and it sustains all things there's a difference you believe the word became a book we believe the word became man mm -hmm. I'm not an expert. I, I don't think it's not, it's not just that it became a book. It's like, uh, there's a lot of, I think, aspects to it. Like the Quran being one of it, it's, it's the word of God. And we do believe that at the one point, the Bible was the word of God. And we do believe that the Torah was also the word of God. So it's like, that's part of it. But I, I think there's more to it. In, in, and by the way, do you guys believe that the Torah was also at one point the true word of God or no? We believe the Torah is the true, is the truth. We believe that all the writings of the prophets are true from back then, even till now. We don't believe that at one that there's ever been a time where it's become untrue. That that's a that's a Muslim claim. And that's not even a Quran claim. The Quran doesn't even say that. Oh, so you guys believe that the Torah is true yeah. even now? Yeah, we have the Torah. We it's in our Bible. The the Bible oh. the the Bible. Do you know what the Bible is? Yeah, the Injil. No, no, no. So no, the Bible is a collection of all of those scriptures: the Injil, the Zabur, the Torah, all the writings of the other prophets. The Bible is a collection of all of those. So. Bible literally means books, plural. It's like a library. 
you know? Right. So in yeah. the Bible, you have the Torah. In the Bible, you have the Psalms, the Zabur. In the Bible, you have the Injil. In the Bible, you have the writings of other prophets like Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, and so on. And the apostles of Jesus, Paul, Peter, uh, Matt, you know, Matthew, and you know, so on. The Bible's collection. Okay. I mean, but at the same time, I mean, um, and the thing is, like, I think in the Quran, I, I'm not, I'm my, I'm not blessed with a good memory, but I do know how to paraphrase or reference. I don't know what exactly it is, but I believe there is a verse in the Quran that specifically talks about the true believing uh, Christians and the true believing um, Jewish people that there is no. Uh, fear on them when it comes to the punishment of hellfire. Yeah, uh, it's chapter two, verse sixty-two. You're right. Yeah, you, you're. Um, I'm not. I can't remember. I can't. I can't <laughs> it's okay. I'm a, I'm a. I'm an English Hafiz. Don't worry. Not an Arabic uh, Hafiz. You what? I'm a, you're I'm an. A, I'm an English Hafiz. You have fathered the Quran in English. Yeah. Wow. You feel me? Logic. That's crazy. I honestly, that's I respect that. I um, but that's um, wow, mashallah, Yanni. Um, <laughs> even though you're not Muslim, but that's crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Um, he is lies. I mean, may I? I'm not gonna fact check him if he he just. I, chap- seen- Guys, it's chapter two. It's chapter two, verse sixty-two, man. It right. says it um, says those who believe among the Jews, the Christians, and the Sabians have nothing to fear. In Allah. Right. So so but the only I think the criteria is um that they have that monotheistic aspect to them. And the there is, you know, that whole issue with specifically with the validity of monotheism when it comes to the Trinity. Um what is monotheism? Way. Believing in the oneness of God or One, Tawheed, I mean, Tawheed, oneness? I mean, oneness of God. Wait, what do you mean by oneness? No, that's not monotheism. No, I meant, yeah, I meant, I just mean Tawheed in Islam. It, like, you have to have Tawheed. Ta, ta, what does Tawheed mean? Yeah, Tawheed is the belief in the oneness of Allah. Yeah, yeah, that's Tawheed. So that's like the unification of Allah, the oneness or yeah. the unification of Allah, right? His attributes, his lordship, his worship, stuff like that. But we don't, yeah, that's that's not pushed on the Christians. Or, you know, uh that not believing in you can you can reject Tawheed and still be a monotheist. Like I, I reject Tawheed and I still I still believe in one God. How 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 so? Because with Tawheed comes certain beliefs about uh, about God, about Allah that you have to have, you know, that don't really add up to me. You know, um, so I, I reject Tawheed. It doesn't make sense. But, you know, because Tawheed's really, it's unification. That's what it really is. It's unification. But unification of what? All of these things that make Allah, Allah? That's, I don't believe in that. I believe God is who he is. He doesn't need to be unified in anything. I mean, I mean, maybe you're thinking about it the wrong way. I think it just means that it's believing that Allah, like not associating partners to Allah. So, okay. But, like, but, but that happens. Like, don't you, you have to obey Allah and obey the messenger, right? Y- yes. Can you, yes. can you obey Allah without obeying the messenger? Mm, n- not entirely. No. Then there's a partner no. right there. There's, well, it's, I, I mean, I get your argument, but at the same time, because the messenger was like the medium to convey basically the lifestyle, like the Quran is a word, but then we also have yeah. the messenger as the, the, the person who um, portrayed the lifestyle that you have to exhibit as a Muslim. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, do, do me a favor. it's not about... Let me give you an example of uh, another partnership. Say your Shahada in full. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad ar-Rasulullah. Why is Muhammad in your Shahada? Uh, 
in your statement and de declaration of faith? Why does he have to be there? Because I, I, I can't, I, I wouldn't be able to give you an answer for that. I, okay. Maybe it's because of the fact that um, previously with the Isa alayhi salam, he's now been, um, there's, you know, blended with the idea of God. But but the, but there's no, there's no la ilaha illallah and Moses Rasulullah. There's no la ilaha, la ilaha illallah, Abraham Rasulullah. But specifically it's la ilaha illallah. Muhammad and Rasulullah. Why? Why is Muhammad being added in to the declaration of faith? Can I, I? I and I can't. I can't even. I can't become a Muslim without declaring Muhammad as the messenger. I can't just say I believe in God and God alone, one God, and that's it. And I submit my will to Him. I can't. That's not good enough in order for me to become a Muslim. I also have to add in, in addition to that, and I believe in Muhammad as His messenger. Because Muhammad's a partner to Allah, man. Tawheed does not fall through. Um, I mean, I, I, I get why you're looking at it that way. I, I mean, me personally as a Muslim, and this is just because of what I, I know, not necessarily this is the real interpretation of it. But me as a Muslim, my automatic thought to that question is to make sure to clearly um uh, proclaim that Muhammad uh, وسلم, is a messenger and is not like how we we proclaim you guys proclaim Jesus as God so, to make sure that there's always a clear distinction and that there's never a, a like a, a worship towards the prophet but listen the Shahada has nothing to do with Christianity the Shahada has nothing to uh, unless I'm mistaken unless the Shahada you know what? It would make sense if the Shahada is a direct, like, polemic or defense attack against Christianity. That actually makes sense because when I look at Islam, it does look like it's a polemic. When I say polemic, I mean it's always attacking the Christian faith or trying to. It, really? it, it attacks the, the idea that Jesus is God's son. It attacks the idea that Jesus is God at all. It attacks, it tries to attack the Trinity, doesn't even get it right, but adds Mary in this. But it, it tries to attack this idea of these three that Christians revere. It It's a polemic against Christianity. So it does make sense. Like in your statement of faith to become a Muslim, you have to make a statement that completely separates you and goes, goes against Christianity. Meaning, there's one, there's no God but God, and Muhammad is his messenger. Not Jesus, not that Jesus is his messenger, not that Moses is his messenger, but that Muhammad is his messenger because it's a direct attack against Christianity. That is interesting. You have opened my eyes to something. You, 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 wow, you, you look at things in a completely different way than I would. Wow, <laughs> crazy. I, I mean, like, I understand how you're looking at it. It's not that I don't understand it. It's just, subhanAllah, like, when, when, you, when you explain the things that you say, and, and I don't mean this in any disrespect, okay? But the way that I've learned my Islam is literally, you know, what you say also validates my faith in Islam because really if Allah wills you to see something in one way, he will let you see it that way. And if he wills you to see what you, what you're supposed to see, he will let you see it that way. When it's just, if you actually sit there and talk to other people and and see what their first thoughts about something is it's 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 very, very oh i think she got a phone call sorry i got a phone yeah yeah it's 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 like the way that a person interprets something is like something really interesting i do you know when i i don't see it as a, a attack i do see it as a challenge to the trinity concept yes i do i see it challenges it 100 percent. but i also see that it um you know because we have a whole chapter dedicated to Maryam, mary mm -hmm. um you know and and we have so i mean asa 
alayhi salam, he was mentioned more in the Quran than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Right. And so why not, why not put Jesus in the Shahada instead of Muhammad when Jesus is clearly Allah's favorite prophet? I think also because um, we believe that there's no messenger after the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah, you do. He's the seal of the prophets. No, you don't believe that. Don't you believe that Jesus is coming back? Yeah, but there's no. Yeah, he comes back. Don't you? Don't no you? But don't. Don't. After. No. No, it is a message. Won't Won't he come and abolish the jizya? I mean, he's gonna abol He's gonna abolish. <laughs> he's, he's gonna do he, a lot. He's gonna do a lot, right? No, if we could be honest here. He's gonna break the cross on the live pigs, and he's going to do away with the jizya. That the jizya is a law or a ruling that's in the Quran, that's in the word of Allah. But Jesus is coming with something new that gets rid of the jizya. So you don't believe that Muhammad is the last message, you believe Jesus is. I mean, that's that's how you would look at it, but I don't look at it in that way. How else is there to look at it? That's, he's literally the last one coming. He, to... Because he's already a messenger that came, but he is going to be resurrected, and he's a sign of the final days. Like, I don't look at it as he's, he's going to be resurrected. Be... What do you mean by resurrected? What do you mean by that? He, he, you believe he died? Yes. Don't you, be... you believe he died? Yes, I do. You, you, okay. believe, you believe Jesus died. How? Not on the cross. Oh, but you believe he died some other way? Yes. Interesting. So you believe Jesus died. You believe he will be resurrected. I believe he already was. But yes, you believe he already yeah, was. Yeah, I, I believe he already was. And then and he also still will come back. But you believe he died and he hasn't resurrected yet. And you believe God will or Allah will raise him up later to then continue and finish his mission. I mean, I I don't know what exactly is the reasoning for his coming. You know, there's a lot of things that are going to happen when he comes and he's the Messiah, you know. Um, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose him exactly and what is his 100% full purpose of that? It's, you know. It's I mean, unclear, that, isn't it? It's, un, it's unclear, you, you, yes. You know, you know where you can find the answer to this? Where the Injil, the gospel. Okay. The gospel I tell mean, the gospel tells you exactly why Jesus is coming back and what he's gonna do. Matter of fact, can I read it for you? Just a little passage. Yeah, you can go ahead. All right, look, watch this. This is this is Matthew chapter twenty five. I love this passage. This is one of the things that Jesus is gonna do when he comes back. It says, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Skip down a little bit. Then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you cursed into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. So his purpose that he's coming back in is to judge, is to set and establish his kingdom here on earth forever and to judge mankind and reward those who believe to eternal life and to condemn those who disbelieve to eternal punishment. That's what he's supposed to do. I have a question. When you say that he will establish his kingdom on earth forever, what uh, does that mean? It means that he, when he comes and he establishes his kingdom, his rule, he will destroy all of the enemies of God, 
all of the enemies of his people, the ones who persecute his the believers, the ones who persecute his people, he'll destroy them all, um, reward the righteous, remake all things, new heaven and new earth, and establish peace and justice in the earth forever. No more crying, no more sicknesses, no more disease. Oh, oh, you're talking about the the time of peace. Yes, and it's forever. But, and it's but how is it forever if you guys believe that people are going to go to heaven and hell, right? Yes. So so are you saying that heaven and hell are on earth? I'm saying no, no, no. What I'm saying is is that so hell is the lake of fire that's not opened yet. Um, people aren't in, according to Christianity, people aren't in hell specifically yet. They're in another place, but they're not in hell yet. Hell is the lake of fire that's made originally originally for the devil that also non-believers will be thrown into. Disbelievers and sinners will be thrown into the lake of fire, right? Heaven, right? Uh, he's going to make a new heaven, going to make a new whole new earth. And he's going to establish his kingdom of God of the new earth, of the new heaven on earth on the new earth forever. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's another huge difference. Yeah, it's and a huge difference. Huge, not just small. Huge. Yep. Because so you don't believe that earth? Okay, so the earth gets destroyed in in, in Christianity, but then gets yeah. renamed. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, I think yeah. I think I don't I I think that you guys might also have a similar belief. I'm not I don't want to say anything wrong, so I won't even actually go this far. But I I remember I remember talks of a Muslim saying that like everything will be rolled back. Um but I I don't want to touch on that. I don't I don't know too much about that, but I just remember that faintly. But anyway, and what I'm I'm pretty sure of um, just because people are being rude in the comments, like really rude. But um, like I said, I'm not a, a scholar. I'm not a sheikha. I'm here um, just asking questions. I'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything. Um, I, I just wanted to kind of present some of the ideas that as a Muslim we believe in. And, um, you know, just just be respectful, man. Like this don't, all, you know. don't worry about the comments. The com it's TikTok. TikTok is crazy, you know. People are gonna talk, but focus on me. Focus on me and you. We're having a good con. We're having a great conversation right now. So I, yeah, I mean, it's 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 interesting. I um. Yeah. So uh, as far as the you know the earth being destroyed, that's just judgment day. That's just judgment day. We don't know how long judgment day will last. It could be what would equate to like a hundred years. It could be what would equate to a few days. We have no idea how it will be relative to our time um and but but it was just that, all, that was, all of this all of this point was to show you why jesus is coming back right he's yeah, coming we, back to judge yeah so we 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 believe that he's coming back to bring peace and um you know that um no, there will don't. be there will be yeah we do you believe we that believe he's gonna break the cross no, well, I mean, that's not, I mean, if you look at it from an Islamic point, point of view that we really don't, we reject that idea, that's not a disrespectful thing or an that, that's, that's, thing. that's an absolutely disrespectful thing. That the cross, why, why the cross then? If it's not disrespectful, why, why, why specifically the cross will he come and destroy? Why the cross? Because in Islam, the cross is a symbol of shirk, mushrikeen. It's, it's what... So shirk is the association, and I, I don't know how much you know about the idea of shirk. I, I know, I know, I know everything about the idea of shirk. But it's the like the worst, the lowest level of. Yeah, it's it's the it's the only unforgivable sin. Yes. Yeah. So this is why. So here it is. So understanding that against for Islam, the cross, knowing what it is to Christianity, is the symbol of what Christ did for us on the cross. The symbol of our hero, our Lord and our Savior, getting victorious over sin and death. That is the symbol of the cross for us, or for what our Lord did for us. And for Islam, it's such an anti-Islamic message 
that the what the cross represents is anti-Islamic. You got to destroy it. Now imagine that. Imagine, <laughs> you, you know, for 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 me as a Christian, it makes sense that that's a goal of Islam. Here it is again, another attack against Christianity. That's what it is. If you see it, Jesus tells us about this. Jesus tells us that the enemy, Satan, comes, he prowls around on the earth, seeking to kill, steal, and to destroy. And, to dis and by stealing, killing, and destroying, he just wants to steal the truth of God from you. He wants to destroy the truth of God in you and corrupt it. And what does he do? He comes up with a religion that is so anti-Christ. Everything that represents Christianity, Islam hates. Oh, uh, so you, what you believe then is that we're gonna, as Muslims, are gonna follow the Antichrist. That's what. You, that's basically what you're saying. Absolutely. Because there's gonna be an Antichrist. So what you believe in then is we're going to follow the Antichrist. Yes. Absolutely. Oh my God. That explains why. Uh, <laughs> that explains so much. <laughs> but. Um, but as far as I know, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, there are Christians that reject the Trinity. No, and there, are, there are no, are, are there Muslims that reject that Muhammad's the last messenger? The what? That reject that Muhammad is the last prophet. Um. Can you be a Muslim and reject Muhammad as the last prophet? You know, with all the different types of Muslims there are nowadays, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> unfortunately, I, well, you know, there's there's a sect called Ahmadiyya Muslims that do they they reject yes, that Muhammad's the last I prophet. So. But I think so. But but what I'm saying is that Orthodox Muslims don't consider them Muslims because they reject a core teaching of the Quran. So, so then you, so there are people that call themselves Christians that don't believe in the Trinity, but you guys reject them as Christians. Exactly. That's what you're saying. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Cause we, I, we reject that anybody who doesn't believe in the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being the final messenger and the Quran being the final message. Yeah. That's definitely falling out. That falls um, out of, that falls out of his law. Yeah. So did, rejecting the Trinity, you fall out of Christianity. Interesting. I mean, but what if they believe in Jesus though? They don't. You can't you can't reject the Trinity and say you believe in Jesus. You're you're rejecting Jesus. He taught the Trinity. He taught that he was God. He taught that the Father's God and that the Holy Spirit's God. <laughs> that they all excuse me. <laughs> that they all share the same nature. Yeah, I need to get off. <laughs> and, all these, and all these things, but so to reject that, you're rejecting Jesus. Now, it, there's a difference between not having full knowledge of it and, you know, um, you know, just like, yeah, not having full knowledge of it. So not rejecting it, but not knowing fully about it. That's fine. You know, you're not going to know everything. But to actively reject it, you're going against Christ. Okay. But and, and then and then I guess my final question kind of goes back to the proof Jesus was Muslim question. Yeah. So. So do you, did Jesus worship God though? He worshiped specifically the father. So, okay. So he did have some type of worship to the father. Yeah. Okay. So do you know what Islam, the letter, I'm, I'm sure you do. Yeah. Yeah. The, the we, get, we get the claim. Here it is. Muslim means one who submits his will to God. Mm -hmm. Jesus submitted his will to God. Therefore he's a Muslim. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, it's not that simple. Because if I submit my will to God, who I say is a statue, am I a Muslim? No. If I say I believe in the one God, the creator of all things, who created all things, he's one and only by himself, but it's a statue. Am I a Muslim? No. no. So there's specific things I have to believe about the one God in order for me to be a Muslim. For example, I have to believe that he's one and one alone, absolutely singular, not a trinity. If I believe in one God, but I believe he's triune, I'm not a Muslim. So I have to believe he's absolutely singular in his essence. I have to believe that he's not a father. He has no sons, no daughters, no children. He is absolutely other than that and above that. He's not a father. So if I believe that he's a father, if I say I believe in the one God and he's the father, am I a Muslim? No. Right? 
Right. I mean, you, you're not, I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to be because of the way that you believe in it. But if we believe that Isa alayhi salam really did worship God and was his messenger, then that would, you know, that would, that would definitely fall under him submitting his will to God. And not, not if he's saying that God is his father, because he's not submitting to the God that you're saying he submits to, to be a Muslim. The God that you have to submit to, to be a Muslim is not a father. If Jesus is teaching that God is his father, he's not a Muslim. And okay, so another question I have. Wait, wait, does that make sense? You know, no, 100%. I, I understand what you're saying. I, I, I've heard you before and I've heard other Christians before. So when we're talking about, from what I've studied, um, you know, the, the, the Bible being revealed such, such long, long, long time ago. Do you think that perhaps what that it could have been you know we, right now we talk you're talking about the father and perhaps this was the way that isa alayhi salam can't refer to it but in the language that that what was existing then the that notion really really meant god you know what i'm talking about like the the, the language yeah no language it doesn't die, <coughs> the word the, the word yeah so you have the word God and you have the word Father. Those are two different words. The word God, let's say for in Aramaic, for example, is like Ilaha or something like that, right? Where and the term Father is Abba. So you uh, have okay. so you have Jesus referring to Ilaha as Abba, his Father. So it's not a confusion of words. It's not like oh, Father means the word God. No. Father is its own word. God is its own word. And Jesus is saying that God is his Abba. Okay. I mean, I, I'll, I'll look into that because sure. from what I study about languages and stuff, I mean, um, I would like to see how that, that all works um, linguistically. Sure. Um, I sure. guess my last comment, and then I'll leave, um, has to do with the, the fact that... Um, <laughs> How, how am I? <laughs> okay. Um, what was I gonna say? What you got? What you got? What you got? It was it was there, but then I um. Oh yeah. So another thing is like the idea of salvation, where like you basically you accept um Jesus as your savior and you're saved. Um, that I also kind of have a conflict with. Um, right. just because. Because, like, you know, the, the like basically, if you believe in Jesus and 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 you did whatever, as long as you believe in Jesus, at the end of the day, you're you're gonna go to heaven. So I I just think that's strange because you could be like a really vile, horrible, corrupt person, but you believe in Jesus, you know, and so that would just give you and earn you heaven. Is that true or untrue? Well, you can't just do whatever you want. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me show you something. I don't know. I, I, All right, you know watch this. Be... This is Sahih Bukhari. 5827. Sahih Bukhari 5827. It says this, narrated Abu Dar. I came to the prophet while he was wearing white clothes and sleeping. Then I went back to him again after he had got up from his sleep. He said, nobody, he said, nobody says none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. And then later he later on he dies while believing that, except that he will enter paradise. So all you got to do in Islam is believe that uh, Allah is the only one that's worthy of worship and you can go to paradise. He continues. I said, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, he said, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft. I said, again, even if he had committed illegal in sexual intercourse and theft, he said again, 
even if he had committed legal sexual intercourse and theft. I said it. Here's the third time. Even, so this Abu Dhar, he can't believe it. Even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, he said, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, in spite of Abu Dhar's dislike. So it's not, now according to Christianity, the Bible says, you come to belief in Christ, you die to sin. You cannot commit whatever you want to do and expect that you're, you're still good. You're a false believer if you're living in sin and committing a sinful activity and living in sin, right? But according to, Quran, uh, to Islam, all you got to do is say, la ilaha illallah. Even if you commit sex, adultery, steal, as long as you die believing that Allah is one, worthy of worship, you're good to go. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. So first of all, from what I got from you, then uh, as a Christian, if you c commit all these sins, you're basically viewed as a hypocrite and therefore you're not considered Christian. That's what you're saying. Correct. Um, and as far as the um, hadith, which you spoke, what's important to know is that it's like when you convert to Islam or you or, or you were never you, you were an atheist, for example, and you just did whatever because you didn't really have any fear for of God and you didn't have any consciousness of God. You take your shihada and it's as if you never committed a sin ever. You, you're basically like a newborn baby um, free of sin. And we also have hajj which once you complete Hajj, same thing. It's like you are a newborn baby and you are wiped completely off of the records of sin. Okay. So you're saying that that's, this is on, upon conversion. This doesn't mean that you can go on sinning as you want to just because if you say there's nobody worthy of worship, you'll go to paradise. That doesn't give you a license to sin. Is that correct? Um, I'm sorry. I, I didn't completely follow the question. Uh, so basically you're saying that this hadith is talking about conversion when a person converts to Islam. And so when it says here that if he dies upon saying that there's nobody worthy of worship, but Allah, it doesn't mean that they can then go on sinning just because they said that and they're, they could go to paradise, right? It doesn't mean that they can go on sinning and doing what they want. Yeah, of course. Like okay. it, I mean, you, you're given a clean slate, but then you, you obviously you're not mm -hmm. gonna keep that slate clean, and you can't convert at the last minute of your life. Like you can't just as you're dying, like okay, you know what? Well, this, <laughs> it, the law. No, no, that's what that says. It says at, the, at your deathbed. Yeah, it, say, it says there's none. Who says no? Uh, what to do? Uh, nobody, nobody says none has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and then later on dies while believing in that, except that he will enter paradise. And even if you did all do all these things, if on your deathbed you die while believing that uh, that uh, you know that Allah is the only one worthy of worship. Even if you do all of these things leading up to your death and you still believe in that, you even if you you said it and then you still <laughs> you die on that belief, you're good to go. Mm, right. But I, I don't believe that that means like right when you're about to die, you can take Shahada. I, I think it means um, it, and I'll look into it because I, I'm not going to give you information that I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't so. look like you have to say it right before your deathbed as long as. As long as you believe that while you're dying, by, by, before you die, you're good. Well, do you, it could mean, and I'm just saying this, so please, if anybody's listening, I'm just saying this, um, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure. In Islam, you know, even as a Muslim, as you are dying, you have to make shahada. You, you, you know, this is just what every, like every Muslim does, you know, when you, and, when, and your last breath should be shahada. And if you can't say it, somebody will say it for you. That could be refer referencing that specifically. 
Um, doesn't look like it to me, but I hear you. Yeah, I'm I, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm um listen, I, I, I do have to go. I'm really sorry. I would I would love to speak to you again. You're welcome um, anytime, my friend. You was nice, yeah, you've been respectful, you could come anytime. You asked really good questions, so I like yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. And I, I, I like to understand and learn about other people's faiths. I have respect for anybody who is um part of the Abrahamic faiths. This is part of my religion. If we're supposed to have respect for each other. So um anyways, thank you. And um can I ask you one last question? Where did you say that you used to be a Muslim? <laughs> <laughs> I said that in relation to, <laughs> to the to where Muhammad says that everyone is born a Muslim. Oh, so you you weren't born like I mean you weren't born to a Muslim family. You no. you you were born a Christian. No, I was I was no no I was not born into a Christian Muslim family. No. Oh, okay. Well, you know you're a really intelligent person, and you know I would say Allah Yahdiq, Ya Rab, Allah Yahdiq. From how many Muslims you talk to. I just pray for you to follow the truth. Thank you. That's I do. I, I, I follow it. Jesus and Christ. You know, I, I pray inshallah. You're very intelligent, 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 man. I, I respect how you're intelligent and um, you can be pretty respectful. Sometimes I don't like all of your conversations, but I think that yeah, you come from a good place. So, you know, I pray for you to follow the truth. That's what I sincerely, sincerely. And I pray, pray for, for I pray that for you too, sis. I want um, you to, because you're intelligent too. I want you to come to the truth of Jesus Christ and you'll see that he's nothing like anything you've experienced before. I promise. But in due time, Lord willing, we'll see. Keep coming back. And, uh, <laughs> And we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, we can do we can do this again one day when I have uh, a little bit more information. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little up there for me, you know. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not all that. Trust me, I, I'm. Yeah, no, you're, you're 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 definitely at a higher level with the the theology. I think you've studied a lot about uh, different religions, so you know you. I, I haven't. I've studied mainly my religion. That's why I had so many questions. Uh, oh yeah, well yeah, bring your questions of Christianity. I'll try to answer anything I can, and if I can, I'll bring it to a brother or sister who can. Okay. Um, Are you, you have a good night. Okay, be blessed. You too. Take care. Right. Okay, guys, that's it. <laughs> that's it for me. <laughs> uh, woo! Yeah, I need to get off. I can't breathe. Um, I need to decompress. Thank you guys for showing up. Thank you guys for hanging out. Man, uh, we hit 1,300 on YouTube again today. Uh, over 900 on TikTok. I appreciate you guys. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys learned a new tactic or uh, how to deal with certain personalities or questions or arguments, how to deal with it, when to, you know, do certain things. Tactics is very important, guys. If you if you watch me, you know that I'm very tactical in my conversations. Very, very tactical. So you can't just beat people over the head with the truth. You gotta be gotta be wise about it, right? Wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. Jesus Christ! And uh, that's the package that comes with logic. <laughs> logic. By the way, YouTube, yesterday we met a person who claimed to be Muhammad. I'm not kidding. Yesterday, we ran into somebody who claimed to be Muhammad. And I gave him a platform. And I let the Muslims, one by one, come up to try to disprove him. And they couldn't really do it soundly. Like they, a couple of them caught him on a couple of things, but they couldn't, they couldn't refute him as a false prophet, as not being Muhammad. They couldn't refute him. Not, not decisively, I would say. They couldn't, re they couldn't decisively refute him. You know, and that was so interesting to me. And what we loved about it was. We loved that uh, 
We loved that the Muslims were getting a taste of their own medicine. This is how we feel with Muhammad. Where somebody, Muhammad, is coming and saying, these scriptures are about me. I'm this person. This is me. I'm the messenger of God. I'm the last prophet. This guy was making the same exact claim, but claiming to be Muhammad himself. Crazy. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Subscribe to God Logic 2.0. He's going to have clips of this. So check him out. Hit the like button on this video, YouTube. Help the live get out there. The algorithm, I know it's a long one. I might have to chop this one up. It's four hours. I'm tired. I'm gone. I need to decompress and eat. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing up. Pray for me and my health that I get better and better. All right. Thank you. Peace.